Look at that. Hi, guys. Yeah, well, Hold on, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to make it. You're illuminating on share, camera. Share. Yeah, we glow, baby. <laughs> We're going to talk about that. Yeah. All right, so join. Uh, Let's talk about Todd. No. Almost got sick today. No. <laughs> yeah, we'll share all that. Okay, so we got 82 people in the house. And it's filling up. Hello, everybody. How you doing? Arla McDonald, Jacko Van Belzen, Autumn Smith, Annie Zumo, Susan Brown, Katarina. Uh, thank you for your continued love and support, Katarina. Uh, Guillerme. Guillerme. Yeah. yeah, Natalie. Uh, Primi Hogo, thank you for all your incredible uh, visual imagery comments cricket holder nancy hodges and sedona fiona carthu for heaven's sake that's leanne hi leanne <laughs> i got my piece hi peace <laughs> victor hi. Forsyth, kirsty belleville hey kirsty um mary cooper oh, there's no way i'm gonna be able to name them all because they're coming in way too fast As that well that's awesome hi guys yeah. I, ask them if they can hear me okay you guys hear me okay? Yeah, can y'all hear everything? It, it should be able to, I'm hearing at their level right here. Good. So let's just, yeah. That's the box I was talking about getting, I think. When yeah. I kept saying getting one of those, this, that's yeah. what I meant. Yeah, cool. this is it. That's all you need. Awesome. Yeah. Well, we have one now for the team. Yeah, we have one for the yeah. team. Yeah, we're talking about that too. When you show up, you show up with everything. All of it, baby. <laughs> all of it, baby. Bring it. All right. All right. I, I'm going to hold the Hello, Milana. Here. I see you tonight. Hey, Let's see. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Okay. We're good. Yeah. You have to grab your coconut. Yeah. Yeah. I need my we're coconut. We're starting out with coconuts, guys. Yeah. So yeah. hold on a minute here. Hang on. This is a true Southern Hawaiian. <laughs> right. Oh, I got a big one. Southern uh, Hawaiian. There you go. Thanksgiving. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> we. I'm going to go on a coconut diet. Coconut diet. 30, oh, dude. 30 days coconut diet. So we are doing this Hawaiian style cosmic couch conversation. We're hanging, we're chatting, we're playing, we're having some fun. We're sharing, we're activating, we're transmitting light codes like at a ridiculous rate that you can just ask Todd. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> be, if you ever come over here, just make sure you're ready. That's all I can say. <laughs> I thought I was going to lose it today. No, I was okay. I just had to. It's a lot. I thought I was going to have a seizure. <laughs> yeah. It's a ridiculous amount of energy, which yeah. is cool. So this is cosmic conversations. Right? Cosmic couch. Yeah, we're on I, my couch. And, I and when we moved it, it when we move yeah. it to outside, we're going to re we're going to call it a, a cosmic yeah. island couch. <laughs> yeah. So this is your deal. We're just this helping you put it out there. Yeah. This and is I, a, a we deal. Yeah. Well, I changed the name to Cosmic. Uh, oh, yeah. Whatever the, whatever the thing is. Yeah. That, that's, that's my thing. It, it, it was like Cosmic Couch Conversations. We're supposed to hang. We're supposed to have some fun. We're supposed to share information and, and bring everybody into the beautiful energy of all of this. So. Yeah. yeah. And Denise, cool. Denise says Cosmic Coconut Conversation. Oh, yeah. I like that. <laughs> yeah. Love that. Right. I had to chop cocos, especially just for this. I went out yesterday, got the cocos, bought Todd a machete. Yeah. Going to teach him how to chop some cocos, which is going to mm. be fun without chopping the feet and the hands off. Yeah. So happy. Yes. Happy Thanksgiving day to everybody. But we're going to talk about gratitude and Thanksgiving and how this really works. So we don't have a day. It's an everyday thing for us. So, but we chose today because it's 1122, which is a master number day. So we're sharing. Uh, I didn't know it was Thanksgiving when I picked the date. And then I looked at Todd and I'm like, hey, you want to do it on Thanksgiving? Now, our Thanksgiving? Mm. I didn't know he was a Southern boy. <laughs> our Thanksgiving. Until he opened the door for me. And then went, oh, I forgot <laughs> about the, the, the nice chivalry of the Southern <laughs> dude. I'm like, wow, I've missed all that stuff. So I told him I'm used to doing everything by myself. So when somebody actually tries to help me carry groceries, I'm like, I don't know how to act. But. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, wow, it's yeah. nice to have help. And then you can call somebody ma'am without them getting upset. Oh, my you. God. <laughs> so, you know what's so cool about this, this? is 
that you've been out there for so long and you know, you're always business, you know? Yeah. And, and this is teaching. I'm yeah. always in teaching. Yeah. You are, yeah. Teach, 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 yeah. because and there's I, a lot of information. It's all about yeah. higher consciousness intelligence. Yeah. So yeah, I don't, I don't get to play much. I know. And, I, and so when you suggested this, what? I was like, yeah, man. Cause like I came over what three weeks ago when I got here, like two weeks after I got here. Yeah. And, uh, and we just talked for like five hours and I, we were like, man, this would be cool just to capture this. And, you know, and it's so because so many people know you and it's like, you know, it's more for me, you know, it's more uh, casual and it's yeah. more familiar. And, and we're going to start doing more of the casual stuff. Yeah. So because now it's really about, you know, for, for me, for where I am, my universe keeps saying, have fun, have fun. I'm like, yeah. but I work all the time. <laughs> exactly. Like, so now I actually have to let go and have some fun. So we're, we're having some fun here with you guys. We're bringing you guys into our fun. There you Pamela. Go. Hey, sweet Pamela Coco Frios. Oh, she's so funny. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah. She, she puts out some good stuff. We've been too. doing this for, a, a, if you will, a long time, which in, in light isn't that long. It's actually a few years. So, but in, in one, ex, one part of the process has been our whole life here and technically everybody's always been doing this we just don't have the recollection or the understanding of that so yep so we we, we decided to to get together and to hang and to share we tried to, to live stream youtube but i don't have the mac stuff down pat yet so well and you know kim kim I always pronounce the names wrong. Samitas. Oh, I know. I'm, I, I tear them up. I bad. put digit. I, I put letters in there that don't belong. Guillermo. Mm -hmm. I renamed him. I don't even know how to pronounce his, but to me, it's Guillermo. So, oh, Guillermo. Yeah. <laughs> you can call him Bill or William. That's that's. You just, I'm like we just. It doesn't. Just, it's the energy. So we t yeah. we connect with people's energy. It really yeah. doesn't matter what their name is because you won't remember their name anyway. Yeah. I, I just I see energy, man, and or a, yeah. or a picture. Even well, just like when we went to yeah. Milana's, I had met her. I was yeah. standing there talking to her for like ten minutes, and she sat down and relaxed. And in that moment, I remember her. I went, oh, because her energy shifted into that place. I'm like, yeah, mm -hmm. I remember your energy. And then I could recall actually meeting her out and about. But up until that moment, I was completely blank. I had no clue and no memory of like two weeks before. Right. On. So. Anyway, yeah. hi, everybody. Thank you for joining us. This is awesome. We're going to play and have some fun. Yes, we'll be taking questions in a little while. Yeah. Um, Miss Morgan. Morgan's here. Uh-huh. Hey, sweet hi. Morgan. I'm going to be getting to meet you soon. <laughs> in the actual physical, I already know your energy. So, which is beautiful. Well, that was announced now. It's been, it's been a secret. Oops. You should have told me that. I well, I didn't say when. Look, I'm just trying to, I didn't say when. I'm just I trying to stay year. in balance <laughs> here, man. No, I'm telling you, you know, I you know, I mean, I've been here three times now. And this time was like huge. I mean, huge. This morning we were getting ready, setting everything up. And then Lisa was talking and she was making a point. Because I usually get these tones when there's truth being spoken. I'm like, So they tell me, like, listen. When it well, resonates. this yeah. one, I was sitting on the couch and it went in my left ear and I jumped up off the couch and I thought like, like, you know, like somebody took a wet pinky finger and stick it in your ear, you know? And I was like, what the hell's going on? He's been walking yeah. around hooping and hollering for like yeah. hours trying to, to, to move the energy and stuff. Yeah. That's activating your light body. Yeah. But, and so when yeah. you have that happen, you can feel it run through your, your whole body. Yeah. It's a tuning process, yeah. but, but it jacks you up. Yeah, it jacks you up. It jacks you up. Jacks you up. Yeah, Jack. So, yeah. For me, I can't function any other way. That tone you heard, I listen to a bazillion of them 24 hours a day. That's yeah. what I take the information. It's light encoded information, yeah. and, and and I can read and understand. And, and not only that, it, it's us. So you're just you're, you're just communicating with yourself. Yeah. To, through light intelligence, light encoded information, and all that stuff on a universal and cosmic level, which is kind of cool. The other thing I notice is that, like, do you see things here that you? I've seen a lot of things, but I see them more intensely here. So, like, when I thought I was going to vomit a while ago, <laughs> <laughs> I went downstairs and all these little like pixels appeared. You know, and I'm like, am I seeing that? <laughs> am I having some kind of flashback from the '60s or something? I didn't know, man. And it was like 
all this stuff was all this energy was moving in these colors and there were all these little little uh i don't know what they were just little looks like little it's cells. particle matter yeah. you, you can see energy and particle matter yeah. in, in in stuff and what yeah. happens is when your consciousness gets so high it expands out really far mm -hmm. and then you can actually see to, to humans to our human aspect space is empty but the more that you're the higher that we function from from a level of consciousness the more we get to see and yeah. we actually live from those holographic realities yeah um they all but but it's a part of your body when you hit that really high frequency your body starts releasing dmt mm. and your pineal gland opens up and gets really active and your third eye takes over and so your your ability to see on a multi-dimensional level is heightened yeah eventually once each person or as each person achieves that state all of the time your actual physical realities are those things you used to see yeah yeah they're also the things you used to dream in your dream state you're walking in that dream you're walking and we were yeah. talking about that last night yeah that it was opening portals and that, teleporting yeah. that was a very good explanation i never heard that before that's because you have yeah. to experience it to yeah. understand well when you told me your story then i i remembered your story a couple yeah i remembered some incidents incidents yeah. and uh walking but, through portals and and, and the whole yeah. passageway yeah. And, and yeah yeah so I was calling it like a super deja vu because I knew I'd been here and I was like, what's going on, man? You know, but it's not like a regular deja vu because like a regular deja vu is like that. And this one had more It's multi-dimensional access. Yeah, it had more frequencies. It was more more involved. Color, sound, it was just more involved. Yeah. So that was cool. Cool. Yeah, man. And uh, somebody just said, I think it was Milana said she's seeing rainbows on her skin. Oh yeah. The crystals in your body actually start transmitting different, different, you can actually see the crystals through your skin. Um, when, when it first started for me years ago, I would break out everywhere. My hands would swell up, my body would swell up. So a lot of people going through the itching and the swelling and all that kind of stuff, their body is the crystals and star particles activating in your skin. I'm glowing again. <laughs> yeah. Well, some people got like gold and then they got silver. You will have, yeah. you will have um it will change colors all along the way so like mine now are the rainbow and all pure white they're all diamond wow. like codes and they're all purity frequencies and, and stuff but they've changed over the years so when i was going through activating the abundance frequency they were all gold yeah and, and so and and actually people can actually see your energy and they can see that in your field because you're transmitting holographically that's how you start morphing and shape shifting mm. Is because your crystals actually will transmit different vibrational frequencies that the person on the other end, based upon their vibration and ability to see, can actually watch you change yeah. on a multidimensional level. And, and your facial features will change. You, just like you said, you were looking at me the other day, you mm -hmm. saw my pineal gland turn into a triangle mm -hmm. and, and light up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah that happened, welcome man. to the new norm people. that happened yeah this is about and then some people can see it and some people can't so it's both is it both it's uh... it depends okay so it depends on mm, the pineal gland is the whole body goes through a carbon base to crystalline and then the, we, we didn't even know then crystalline silicone plasma and, and um dna evolution and yeah. so when we're going through all of this stuff, part of Christed, the crystalline grid of new earth is activating the Christed template and, and, and the crystalline crystals, Christed, same thing. Yeah. Um, it's whatever, what one person identifies in that moment. I tend to take all the words and tie them together, mm -hmm. but, but Christed consciousness is a purity frequency. And, and the more you function from that pure place, that purity place inside of you, the more you activate your crystalline light body structure in your body and you have the activation and then you have the building of the template and the template takes months 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 years 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 it's not an overnight process right. it's a continual that's a part of the embodiment process that we talk about right right and uh so but yeah you're when you hit the um when you hit the um frequencies yeah when your body activates those frequencies and those codes turn on codons 
And, and so it's a complete genetic restructuring of your body. It's a complete everything going on inside of your body. The whole universe is inside of your body, all the planets inside your body. So when, when, when we start going through all these different, different planetary alignments, then whatever that planet represents is what you're going to go through inside of you and in your reality too. And being able to maintain harmonic alignment. Uh, it, it's, this is a continual harmonizing through frequencies and tones, through sound. Through, 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 but it's through your heart. Right. And so your pineal gland um, decalcifies and opens up and a massive light will come on inside the center of your brain and it'll explode and start opening all your neural pathways mm. and, and it will be brighter inside than it is outside. Mm. And mm. so when it happened for me, it was a bit freaky because I would close my eyes and everything was lit up and I would open my eyes and everything got darker. Wow. It wow. reverses. And what happens is your pineal gland actually becomes a holographic viewer, mm. a holographic transmitter. You right. can actually, it's like sitting in one of the old movie theaters down at the bottom and watching the light stream out of the movie camera. Right. Right, right. That's what your pineal gland is doing. It's, it's transmitting your movie, wow. your play, right on. which is why it's so important to, mm. to maintain your absolute highest state of consciousness. Because as you do, your play changes. Yeah. Kind of cool. And so and, and on far, there's a bunch of questions we can get to. Yay! But I, I know. Was, I just saw one. I had to yeah. giggle at that. No, no. The, but I was going to say, so like you were telling me something yesterday about where, you know, because people talk about like mm -hmm. if they see chemtrails, they can change them. And I don't, I don't discount that at all. I'm not saying that they don't. Yeah. Uh, well, and, that's your, that's your yeah. external hologram. Yeah. You can do anything you want to with that. Through, through your unconsciousness. Right. This is a projection of consciousness. Right. Basically. And you were saying that, uh, okay, so like you were just talking about everything is inside of us. The entire thing is inside of us, the everything. entire universe. So you were in a situation where there was, uh, the grid was shrouded, basically. I flew in and yeah. saw that the entire grid was yeah. completely in, in disarray yeah. and disconnected. There was no grid. Right. And the words were, you're here to connect the grid. Right. And and before I flew in, I had no clue we did these things. Mm. You know, sometimes you don't know until that moment when it happens. Right, right. And, and so I could actually see we are the grid. Yeah. We hold all of those those codes and frequencies inside of us. And we link up to the different grids um, within New Earth on a cosmic level, on a universal level. Uh, all of these different um, um, <clears throat> grid works and all. And, and so when I flew in and it's like, you're here to activate and reconnect the grid. And, and it was completely frayed and like burnt. Right. There was no connections or anything like that. So I was actually flying in to see my family and I, I grabbed my grandbaby. I'm like, come on, <laughs> let's do this. Mm -hmm. You want, you want to go open some portals and connect. And he's like, oh yeah, grandma. So, so we got up the next morning and went outside and my whole sky was completely ugly and black and nasty. And so we sat down and I just closed my eyes and went inside and, and you can find the grid work for that area inside of your body. And I went into connecting and reconnecting and activating the grid for that location. Cause it's my reality. I'm sitting in a second doing thing I want to. Right. And, and so you can feel everything start to shift and change. You can feel the vibration. And what you're doing is you're anchoring that higher dimension. You're a grid point and an anchor point. Right. You're anchoring those codes in that location. You're anchoring that grid work through your body vessel. That's why most people don't understand the importance of the body mm -hmm. is that this is our cosmic portal. This is our sacred vessel. This is everything. This is why we have to get our body's vibration so high and keep it there. And, but so, you know, and it didn't take that long. I went inside, closed my eyes. Everybody's kicking, getting kicked out. That's just Pamela. Yeah. Hey, Pamela. Mm -hmm. um, and <laughs> Everything's I, I opened today. my eyes and a massive, the sun came out and the whole sky cleared and a massive portal opened up and the clouds of new earth started coming through the portal mm -hmm. and, and all the chemtrails disappeared and the whole sky turned into the clouds of heaven. 
which they have a distinctive look. I took you outside this morning yeah, yeah. and showed you them. Yeah, I saw them when I went by myself, too. And, and I, I grabbed my camera, and I took pictures all the way through it because I'm on Facebook going, hey, people, guess what we could do? And I'm like, and, and I was capturing the photos as the whole sky changed. Right. And the whole sky changed from old earth to new right there in front of us and, and captured, and I posted them all in an in a album um, for people to see. And then... Um, I'm like, before I leave, I'm going to have pinks. I'm going to have pinks because we, when, when I came here, we didn't have the pinks and the purples and stuff like that. And it's like, you know what? We're going to anchor this here because I had already seen the galactic skies of Sirius and all that and the pinks and the purples of Venusian and, and they blend. And that's what we're, all of those, that's the dimensions we're merging here mm. through the pinks and the purples. It is Venus. And, and and Sirius and all of these, if you actually look at them, they they are the skies of our of our planetary systems merging here. Wow. So, but and anyway, by the end of the week, everything turned pink. And I was like, there it is. And and I flew out and I came back here. People were like, can you fly here and do this? I'm like, no, people, you can do this. Yeah. You guys, you just have to it's all about really elevating your consciousness high enough to remember that you can. And then and then connecting with the grid from inside of yourself yeah. fully yeah. because you're connecting up through a level of consciousness. Yeah. And so it takes all of your consciousness to do this. And so it becomes really easy though, wherever I go, that's my reality. That's my grid. That's my, and my weather is over my house. If you look out there, mm -hmm. you have blue skies away from here, but over my house, when we hit ultrasonic, all the clouds come back in, mm -hmm. we start going really, really high into the heavens. Kind of cool. Yeah, I've seen it. Yeah. And so, like, you know, I don't, I haven't paid that much attention to, like, the you were talking about planetary alignments or, say, uh, Mercury retrograde. But so, and you were making, you made a statement a minute ago before you were talking about that, that occurrence. So, if, if let's say something's in retrograde, and I don't know all that stuff, but let's. That's in all, they're all yeah. belief systems. Okay, they're all belief okay. systems. Okay, to the human, that's mm -hmm. still true. Okay. okay. The ego, human ego, unconscious has a different reality than 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 a light being a fully conscious mm -hmm. being does they're opposites for us mercury retrograde is freaking awesome yeah because i don't i don't use this word but i'm using it right now because a lot of people understand it more but telepathy yeah okay so telepathy is energetic communication and, and so it's being on in the synchronized in the same vibrational frequency bandwidth so that you can actually communicate through your field of consciousness and you don't actually you know what the other person's thinking you're completely in tune you're synchronized well well the higher we function from the the more that's our language right and we can hear see feel everything it's not the lower frequency bandwidth stuff there's no pain there's no hurt there's no trauma there's no victim there's no stories there's right. no everything is just pure awesomeness for once we clear our own heavy duty programming and density out, once we clear like the 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 intensity of our our old matrix, because everybody has their own inner matrix right. that links up to the different matrixes. And and once we clear all of that, the Mercury retrograde becomes awesome because our senses are enhanced. Yeah. We have greater abilities. It's easier because it's all about open, honest, respectful communication and mm. openness, which the human ego doesn't function from that place. We do. Yeah. And so for us, it's easier. Yeah. We also don't have the safety and protection mechanisms. We're not protecting ourselves against anybody. That's a good point. And That's so Mercury retrograde is protect yourself. Don't do this. Don't yeah. do that. It's all fear. -based. Well, protect yourself, period. You hear that a lot right. in these circles. That's all ego. Yeah. They're talking about protect yourself. Yeah. And, and I'm like, you know, that doesn't make sense. If it's you're, an ego matrix. Why, what's there to protect yourself from? Right. It's your yeah. fear. Yeah. It's your lack of power. Yeah. It's your lack of interconnectedness. When you fully connect deep inside of yourself, then what will happen is you won't have the need to protect yourself anymore. The reason being is you're not going to compromise anymore. You're not going to give your power away to anybody else yeah. anymore. Yeah. The, the only reason you ever need to protect yourself is because you've given your power away to somebody else and you've given them the power. Yeah. And, and really when you take your power back and you stand 
as love. There's nothing more powerful than you are because you're not going to compromise. No need of protection. Yes, exactly. That seems to be that seems to be what's occurring to me. This, especially the last two or three months, but certainly that throughout this year, it seems like we've moved from a um, in like when I the first four or five years that I was doing, I was involved in this. There was a lot of uh, teacher. There was a lot of people that were teaching, and now it seems like it's more of an empowerment thing. Self empowerment. It's still a teaching through through sharing light encoded information. Yeah. We're still teaching. We're sharing knowledge. Yeah. But the difference is the knowledge we share is to uplift and inspire and empower and for each person to embrace and and do it themselves. Exactly. There's yeah. no I'm the powerful one. Give me your power. There's you know my my I have a community and and one of them i have to laugh at them because one of them said one day we love it because every time we try to hand lace our power she throws it back <laughs> right. she won't even take it and yeah. it's like no we're, we're not here to it disempower or make other people feel like they're less yeah or that we're the ones we, we're not here to you know the old adage of healing and all, all that stuff goes out the window eventually too because healing is just a DNA repair thing. It's just a unification on a soul level. And so understanding, but in the beginning, when we're first waking up, all of the open wounded stuff, all of the victim stuff, all of, all of the, the lower vibrational stuff that is housed in our body on a cellular level, while we're clearing all that stuff, we each one have to have somebody that we look up to that becomes our guiding light. Yeah. yeah. And, and that technically we're each other's higher selves. Yeah. We're each other's universe. But what will happen is, is that in, in coming to this place, the greatest gift that we can give each other is to step back and let everybody come into power on their own. Yeah. Which, which it makes it really easy for everybody else because you're no longer running in trying to save everybody. Yeah. You're no longer taking on the responsibility of them as yours. Right. It's actually very freeing. You're providing the information. You're providing the tools. You're providing what helps people fast track. It's, it's an acceleration on a DNA level. It's an actual physical <laughs> breach. <laughs> Yeah. So in so in essence, uh, uh, an incarnated uh, you know soul, an incarnated human, is, is no different than a um, not only say disincarnated, but an etheric uh, spirit guide, and they they could actually be something that you're learning from. Uh, that's I don't want to say that's that's a. Uh, and uh, I'm gonna break it down in dimensions. As long as we're in the third and the fourth dimension with our body. Mm -hmm. Okay, the multidimensionality is about raising your body's vibration so you can actually walk into a different dimension or vibrate into a different dimension, an actual reality, yeah. the fifth dimension and above. So in the fourth dimension, souls are st still dying, go to heaven or hell, or yeah. they float around in the field and, and you're healing your human stuff. But when you become whole on a soul level inside of and you go through that complete unification, which is a reclaiming and a recalling of all your fractals. Right. When you recall all those fractal aspects inside and you merge back into oneness. Right. Inside, you elevate your consciousness and then of your body, which is physical body ascension, because you have an ascended state of consciousness, but then you have to bring your body through. Right. Which is a massive transition because it means realigning your whole life. And, and, and that just to make it clear, right? Because you had said you, you, you ascend your consciousness. First. So your DNA can rewrite. Yeah. Because when your DNA, it takes time for your DNA to rewrite itself and your body template to build. So physical body ascension from all of the, from just looking at, at each person, it is that in my own experience, from the point of ascending my consciousness and holding myself in ascended state and not going unconscious and not going back to sleep and not forgetting, you would call it forgetting when, when you, when, you, when we shift back beneath the veils of amnesia and we separate off again, I had to hold that state of consciousness long enough for my DNA and my, and my, my light body to build and construct my Merkaba, 
for physical body ascension to occur. And, and it took about a year and a half. And, and I, I've been working with a, an awesome friend, soul, family, team member, all that kind of stuff. And, and it, it takes about a year, year and a half from the point of achieving an ascended state of consciousness before the body can fully come through. What do you, what's the, what do you think the, the measuring stick of the barometer is? Or I guess you would know within yourself if you, uh, zero ego, zero ego, you, you, there will still be some ego involved when you first go through ascending mm -hmm. because there's still programming in the body mm -hmm. and you're still clearing programming, but you're doing it from a conscious place. Right. So you haven't mastered the physical reality completely to be fully abundant in every way, right. because that's the next part. Once you ascend your consciousness and it's time to leave 3D and 4D with your body and walk, you walk yeah, out I want to of get all to those that. old realities. Yeah, because we talked, you, we talked about that, and, and that's that was very interesting too. Yeah. But going back to the, so in other words, you still have a little bit of the programming. But it's a not, lot of programming. I mean, the yeah, difference is you're conscious of the programming right. so and you're, you're not, clearing it. Yeah. You don't look at it like self judgment and self You're learning how to master the you're physical just, reality completely. Yeah. You're just saying, every hey, exchange. Yeah, I did this. This is this needs to go over here. Well, but it's also, it's also about going out into the world and being able to affect the physical through your vibration, through holding your highest state of consciousness, mm -hmm. becoming a contributor in your community, becoming every person you touch in every exchange is through light. Right. So, so for me in the beginning, we learn a lot of us, we go through mental being becoming minimalist. You live on almost nothing so that you can learn to appreciate absolutely everything from right. this very deep sacred place inside of you, because then you're going to start learning as once you become the universe, your universe inside of you, your human aspect and your universe are going to be having conversations 24 hours a day and it's yeah. going to be teaching you how everything works. Yeah. And so every day it would be get up and walk into town and go connect with people. You're going to be an angel today. You're going to buy people lunch. You're going to, and it doesn't matter what you do. You're learning how to be this embodied being in every exchange. You're going to be the kind one. You're going to be the one that makes the difference in every person that you touch. Sometimes you don't have to say anything because your field is transmitting the codes. You're the cosmic portal. Any person in my field immediately is elevated to a higher state of consciousness and I can bring them through mm. because I hold that state of consciousness in, in every exchange. I don't go unconscious. I don't go asleep. I don't go back into me, 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 selfish, protect myself. You've got more power. We don't play in those games, but we also nip it in the bud. We don't let them play out. Yeah. So there's, there's this whole thing of recognizing those who are functioning from this place, calling it out and saying, Hey, that's an old program. Yeah. yeah. And then everybody, Oh yeah. You look at it, you clear it, you move through it, you yeah. move on. Nobody cares. There's no better, worse victim. There's no blame. There, there's no story in what we're doing. Right. You tell a story to teach. Yeah. So like the stories I tell, they teach in the energy of things. <clears throat> That's the only point. You don't really care. They don't hold any energy anymore. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And then you talk too about uh, that Christ level. The Christ Your Christ state of consciousness is, is always going to be love. Yeah, which you was are yeah. always going to come from this very pure place of yeah. love, but you're also a teacher in that yeah. mode. And then the next one, you were talking about how you move into God consciousness, and it's and it's it's not all the I don't want to say the fluffy love and light. I mean, but but the it's a blissful. Goes. Yeah, it's but but something happens in that transition. Well, there's and I different. I think you just kind of hit on it right there, now. There's different energies of the divine masculine. Mm -hmm. And what happens is each state of consciousness is a different level of consciousness vibrationally. And when you hit that vibration, that energy, and you can feel it, that's the activation. Just because we hit that state of consciousness doesn't mean we embody. Embodiment is through your own divine presence. It's what your field transmits for you without you really having to do anything at all. Embodiment is being it with your every breath. Right. And so carrying the divine feminine carrying the divine masculine, carrying the divine child, which is pure source creation. All three of those, it's, it's, it's the 
activation and the integration of the threefold flame energy. And, and so activating the divine masculine within yourself means you're going to shift roles. Divine feminine, you know, when you hit here, mm -hmm. you felt the divine feminine, yeah. the, the divine mother energy. Yeah. But when you hit that energy, then you're going to work through every distortion of being the mother to everybody, mm. the caretaker. We become the caretakers of all of humanity, but mm. we have to work through all the distortions of caretaking and taking care of everybody. And, and, and does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. As an example. Yeah. And I think, uh, so what you're saying is we actually go through it. We go through every bit of it. We go through it until in we... every exchange that you have with yeah. somebody and your every moment of your day. Right. And, and so every moment, once you activate the consciousness, every moment from that point forward is your initiation process to embodiment, which can be years. Because mm. you have to hold that vibration, that frequency with your with every breath, with how you live your life. It's not a let me put on a front and go pretend to be this for a little while and come mm. back and change my clothes and then go unconscious and think about myself. Yeah. There's no more separating you are it. You yeah. don't turn it off. Yeah. If that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. You, you sustain it. The, the, yeah. the divine. Once we come through Christ consciousness, Christ is learning in the energy of Christ frequencies. You are feeling the bliss, the magic, the peace. You're feeling the beauty inside through your presence, through your connection with everything. But it's a being energy. It's not a doing energy. Yeah. It's a presence of, of being. And, and then once, once each person is able to hold that Christed, that high crystalline state of consciousness, then what will happen is the, the masculine aspect, the divine masculine aspect, the, 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 the partner, the, the supporter, divine feminine Christed energy is supportive. Mm -hmm. When I'm a crisis energy, I'm going to be supportive of you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be loving. I'm going to be kind. It's going to be an angelic, soft energy. Crisis energy is very soft. It's very pure. Mm -hmm. Now, when I step into my higher consciousness roles, then it's time for me to get up and accomplish and be and do and do the higher soul purposes and galactic missions. That's your divine masculine coming through. That's right. where you step into the roles. That's your, technically, that's your manifester. Right, right. But it's not through human ego. Right. It's through divinity. It's right. through purity. And the only way to access that higher dimensional power, that, that, that pure source energy, is through the Christ in state. Right. Is through that pure love. And yeah. being, when you're that energy... Then, then you learn to be and you learn to do. Yeah. And so holding those two, eventually you can be and do all at the same time. You, you never leave that place of peace. You never leave that, that mm. magical, everything is magical, abundant, amazing. It, it always is because that's where you function from inside. Right, right. So, so pay attention to the energies and what you've experienced, like we're coming here or, or anything. It doesn't really matter when you go and connect with the divine mother energy and you feel that energy. And I asked you last time, can you hold that yeah. in every exchange? Yeah. When you can, it'll be who you are and you won't actually be able to identify it as much because you're not separating off into it. It's a natural, natural. organic thing. So yeah. it's just who you are. Yeah. But in the beginning, it's like, oh, I feel this beautiful energy. It's almost like I remember this energy, but it's kind of foreign. Mm -hmm. That's because we were unconscious. We were asleep. We didn't hold that before. It's a level of consciousness that we're returning to. That's why it feels so familiar. Yeah. That's why we recognize it. It's like, oh, my God, I remember this purity. Yeah. It's the Lemurian energy, purity frequencies. And Christ the frequencies, each one has a different energy. Yeah. Does that make sense? I oh, know we, I can't repeat what I said last night. No, no, I no, just talk. <laughs> that was good. No, that's, that's, that's right on. But all your divine yeah. aspects come yeah. through 
the Christ at stake. Yeah. Then the higher levels of consciousness come through as a natural way of being, but yeah. then you have to be able to hold that. And each one has different traits. Yeah. So in my early years, my universe, I just separate off to explain which aspect I'm being. Mm -hmm. my, my human, my universe teaching me, my human. And, and so when I'm working with people, I'll say, which aspect are you being right now? Are you being your highest aspect of you? Or are you your little human right now? Yeah. Because most people talking or acting don't even know which aspect they're being. Most people, not really, but I'm, I'm making a point when I say these things. When you're in your ego, you don't know you're in your ego. True. True. Unless somebody's going to point it out to you, the ego will sit around all day long talking about how it's not in its ego. <laughs> and, and the We've whole thing is there. ego. <laughs> <laughs> I have. <laughs> but, but zero ego means that people can feel your purity. Yeah. Zero ego, ego means that people others other souls can connect with you and they feel you and they get you and they understand you and you speak their language and okay. they know you and you really don't need an explanation for that yeah it, it's 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 a reconnection on a soul level but the fifth dimension is where we rebirth ourselves through purity so in the beginning, when we're first coming through to the fifth dimension, if you will, and I'm, I'm, I'm breaking it down in dimensions to make a point, but then once you get to the fifth dimension, you don't really care. The only reason I've spent all these years explaining all this is because that's part of my role here. My role at that time, which that shifted to, was to provide all the information because the old information isn't true anymore. So pre-2012, everything that was pre-2012 doesn't apply anymore. It, it, it kind of went out the window. And so now what we have is new truths and they're all on a quantum and cosmic level. And the, and none of us knew this because none of us had done this before. And so it's through our own experiences here. We actually have to do it before we can understand. And then we have to explain it. Those of us who chose the roles of gaining access, you gain access through your purity. So the purer state of consciousness that you function from, the more access you have. And so if your ego comes in at all, it disconnects you and it shuts down your pure abilities. The, the, you can tell a difference between an ego conversation mm -hmm. and a pure conversation. Yeah. You can tell a difference because of where it comes from. The vibration is softer. Yeah. And, yeah. and the ego is all about itself versus when we function from unity consciousness, this is about all of us. When you and I are talking, I'm always talking about what we are all here to do. Yeah, that's right. This is about all of us, what we came here to do. And it's all, it's a we consciousness, but not what from running around saying we, we, we. It's from being that, that completely we connected state with all as one again. And so it's a, it's a much higher, pure vibration and tone and transmission that each person can feel. The human aspect of us can't explain it. And it'll say, I, I get it. I feel it. I know it, but I can't explain it. And that's actually a really good thing. When you can't explain it for a while, that means that you're, you're, you're connected and you're feeling it. Yeah. I couldn't explain it until I did it over and over and over and over and over and did it and did it and did it and studied it and watched it all. And then you, you are able to gain on a quantum level. It's quantum states of consciousness. You're able to see everything on a quantum level and you can see all the moving pieces and parts. And so by doing so, you gain the understanding how everything works, which gives you the ability to completely master the entire physical reality because you have the knowledge on how everything comes to be how everything is created through your own vibrational frequency, your transmission, your belief, your mentalities, your cellular programming and all of these things. And so it's, I, I'm going to use like last night when you hit really, really high. Like right now, <laughs> <laughs> I'm lit up for like the last eight, 10 minutes. <laughs> I had a question and then it just started, tone started going off in my ear. I, I, I'm not even. <laughs> Kirsty says I can hear it too, though. <laughs> you want to know what, guys? Yeah. We're in ultrasonic, but we yeah. haven't hit the big stuff yet. It hasn't even started. So uh, get ready. <laughs> somebody, 
Somebody said a minute ago, it just came back to me. I'm like lit up. I feel like somebody's got like electric prods all through my that's body. That's a light. That, that's so, <laughs> somebody said that their higher self is pushing them to take action now. It will. Now, is that something that's. It very, will tell your human to get up off your butt and get busy. You yeah. have things to do. Now, is that very prevalent, do you think, right now with the collective yes. or with our um, It depends on where each person is. <clears throat> so if, if you've been. Uh, it depends on vibrationally the dimension you're functioning from. And the reason I say that, because if you've been in 3D for a really long time, 3D, okay, so here's the thing. Everybody thinks 3D is the physical realm. Well, once you get into multidimensionality, 3D is the unconscious physical realm. 4D is, is the duality realm, the, the battle between uh, humans will play in dark and light. We don't play in dark and light anymore, okay? That's, that's your inner battle with your own stuff. Um, and, and outside represents that. But, but the dimension your body occupies is the experience that you're actually having right now. So if you can identify the dimension that you're currently in with your experience, it'll tell you your own level of consciousness. Well, when you... <laughs> yeah. I love it. I love your guys' comments. You guys are what so awesome. I don't know. Somebody we're lighting up the planet right now. I'm like, yeah. Uh, oh my Good God. job. Light it up, baby. Yeah, that's uh Tasmania in the house. When you elevate your consciousness, your DNA, your particles. All right, I'm going to get a coconut. I'll you're, you're going to get <laughs> I'm serious. Take that one and put it in the fridge and I'll chop the meat out of it in a little bit. All right. Todd's yeah. gonna go get a coconut. I'm going to get a coconut. <laughs> you can have mine if you want. Uh, you can have mine if you want. I've got to go to the first. He needs to go. Okay. So, all right. So here's the deal. <laughs> when you hold the absolute highest state of consciousness, oh then, oh, you left and look, I turned, look, uh, I'm glowing. I'm not visible. I had to put makeup on guys. So you can, actually, when you lower the vibration, <laughs> we actually need Todd. <laughs> oh my God. Cause you guys can't see me. We're called the light beings for a reason, guys. And we're not joking when we say we glow. We glow. It's it's hilarious. Um, I know. I see it. We've tried so hard to, to, to make me visible. <laughs> it's not possible. Okay. So anybody talking about multidimensionality and experience in other dimensions? Yes. Your body's vibration dictates the dimension you physically are in. So you actually have to get your body's vibration as high as you can through hitting the higher states of consciousness. I know I'm watching your comments, <laughs> Charlene. <laughs> we glow. Yes, we do. <laughs> if we put on a fake light, Lisa, transparent. Oh, my God. You guys are. I'm just going to sit here and, and talk to you guys and, and stuff. It's so much fun. Yes, we glow. The crystals in our body, they actually transmit light. I'm transmitting light frequencies, light codes. You are receiving those just by listening, just by laughing, just by being open. Sounds like a high-pitched wheezing. <laughs> That's me. Oh, and Todd, poor Todd. He's been trying. He's been like jacked up and, and, and doing the best he can to hang on. It's quite comical. It's a lot of fun. Guys, our new realities are so much fun. Our new realities, they really, see, I had to put makeup on because before we came in here, I had no makeup on and you couldn't see my face at all. And I'm like, <laughs> I got to put some makeup on so you can see parts of my face. Um, all those old belief systems, throw it out the window. I know you can only see my eyes. I don't, I'm doing my best. So when Todd sits back down, I'll be visible again. <laughs> what? <laughs> he says I look like Casper. So the, the, That's what happened Well, and you want to know what's funny is when I first came through to the fifth dimension, I swore that I had died. And, and, and you wonder if you're actually visible anymore because you do become invisible. And when you start walking in and out of different dimensions, people can't see you because you're vibrating and oscillating at a different vibratory rate. And so I can walk into a store and people don't see me until I speak to them wow. or move something. And, and, and so it, it becomes quite comical, but most people can't hang in my vibration very long. See, so look, I'm visible again. <laughs> 
Are you real? Really? Yeah. <laughs> I'm a little bit okay. I'm coming back now. Test. Oh. You can wear a hat. Test. Okay. My ears are burning. I'm laughing so Ooh, hard. Yeah, yeah, I'm man. often invisible. We become yeah. invisible. At least they can see part of my face again. Before yeah. I lit up so much light? that they could barely see anything. And somebody said, I can only see your eyes. Man. This is hilarious. So you were talking. And we don't even have any sunshine today, guys. It's raining. Yeah. This is. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. All right. So All right. Todd's like. You were talking about okay. uh, yes. Let's let's get serious here for a minute. Let, let's actually talk about yeah, I'm just a new trying. level of ghosting. <laughs> <laughs> so it just says Lisa was all shirt. <laughs> I was <laughs> I had to wear I was gonna uh, wear a white shirt now man, I'm I integrating like crazy. <laughs> I'm so if I burp, it's just that's just the way it's it plasma. Is. It's like coats. I know. I'm there sorry. you go. So, you're, you're, you're. <laughs> so you were talking about the 12th. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for that. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> no, we were talking about being really real. <laughs> this about as this real as you can. Real, man. <laughs> That's like, you know, so, my hands disappeared. Yeah. Know, man, that, and, and, but at least I have cheeks that stuff, again. <laughs> that stuff's real. You know, I've, I've seen it happen on some of our shows before a couple of times. Yeah. So, uh, uh hey. tw the 12th, the 12 D template, the 12 D template, the big dog that's right now, first... but we're going beyond that. Yeah. Pretty soon. But that's the first time I'd ever heard of that. When you're... Oh, I'm not even talking into the thing. <laughs> oh, it's it's, okay. It takes a lot to concentrate. <laughs> Test okay. He's floating and so high right now. He's it like is, so expanded. I, yeah, there's a big portal out in the back. I saw it the first time I came over. Uh -huh. I I thought I I had done something good by walking back there. You know, when you were getting ready, I went out there to settle down. Yeah. So I was walking barefoot and I went to the portal because I saw that when I first came here. But I think it actually had a reverse effect on me. I think it, you know, it like stable. I felt good. And then, uh, and then I think it just like energized me. Boom. Like, yeah. Like, so. Did you do that today again? Yeah. I just did it right. It uh, does. Yeah, it, it, what yeah. it does is it anchors in. Yeah. It anchors and stabilizes. I know somebody wants to know what's in our coconuts. <laughs> <laughs> right. That we're drinking. Uh, I got to get my coconuts. Yes. Ugh. Yeah. So. My coconut. I don't know. Forget that question. It's okay. Twelve D uh, template. Okay. Oh, so twelve. Yeah. Uh, so here's uh, the deal. And and I've written about it a bunch for for you guys. You each one of us have the capability. Okay. To activate different dimensional templates inside of your body. The 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 higher the state of consciousness that you hold, the more it happens naturally and organically for you. So it really means letting completely go of everything that represents the old and embracing higher dimensional consciousness. Todd's so high. <laughs> He's going to spit coconut juice everywhere. Mm -hmm. It's actually stabilizing me. Yeah, good. That's how I got another one. Yeah. Good job. Uh, and this Andorra. Here's an Andorra. See? He's got his Andorra. Yeah. Okay. My pendant. So yeah. My star seed. I was work. I've been working in my sleep state with all you guys. Just yeah. so every night has been, I can actually be present in my dream state, sleep state, fully conscious. And for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours, hours, teaching, 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 explaining, explaining, explaining to like a bazillion. I can see all you guys. So last night I was working with Todd and, and Morgan in my sleep state. And, and then I woke up this morning and I was teaching all the star seed stuff and working with the different star seeds and, and I'll, Three, three, three reactions. Right. So. Oh my God. I've been all, the, the cool part is the more conscious you are in your waking state, the more conscious you are in your sleep state, which means that you can utilize your sleep state to accomplish everything mm -hmm. on a multidimensional level so that your waking state is a lot easier because you're doing a lot of stuff in your sleep state, but you're doing it consciously so you can see it and understand it and you'll activate all your new realities too. Yeah. So, and that was interesting too, because I, you know, I, I've had more and more, I guess that's what happens. That's what you're saying is you have more and more recall in the dream state and get more done. And so last night 
I woke up like three or four times. So I was really like awake the whole time. You know, it was mm -hmm. weird. I was like, am I asleep or am I awake? Right. But I saw you and Morgan and Michael Van Patten and, and Kat Katie, Katie, Katie and the Crow, yeah. a couple, of, and there was more people. There was a, we were all working there was together. more people. I and, saw it too. It's just yeah. you three or the, I remember seeing Katie yeah. a little bit, Yeah. but we were, we were all working together, which is yeah. kind of cool. Yeah. And that seems Katie. to be happening more over the last three or four or five months, you know, where people see each other and, and validate or, you know, confirm it. You know, just in passing, yeah. at least in my, in, in you know, in my yeah. experience, you better keep talking. <laughs> I'm no, better, okay. my, my tongue's moving and my mouth's like, like not catching up with it. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. So, I need some more of that. Yeah. We've had like every conversation uh, known to man. We've been talking like all things, uh, higher dimensional consciousness. The thing, the thing about it is, is what a lot of people don't understand is <laughs> Todd's starting to glow more now. <laughs> Yay. Um, don't make me laugh. <laughs> he'll, you ought to see all the electronics, the whole liver. He'd be like destroying it all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Man. It's really important for each person to, to go all in higher dimensional, go all in with everything that you've got because your whole life changes. Now it's going to be challenging because every bit of ego you got has to be dissolved. All of the old matrix programs that everybody thinks are outside, they're all inside of you. So once you work through those matrix programs and you break them down yourself, you shift from the old matrix to a crystalline matrix, which is a Christed matrix, which is the, the, the matrix and template for new earth. So as you hold a Christed state of consciousness, you will start to experience new earth more. And so... It's, it's really important to understand this. When you first start coming through to the fifth dimension, Todd's glowing. <laughs> Am I glowing? Now? You're glowing, dude. Either that or I'm about to faint. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, all the colors are leaving my face. <laughs> no, you're glowing. Look at you. I, I don't doubt it. You I are. don't doubt it a bit. Iridescent. You know what's funny? You're an irid but I you're the blue star seed color right yeah. now. Yeah. Well, I'm you're holding blue. the blue. This, uh -huh. is the, this is the one, like, I started holding it. Now I'm glowing. Right? You're, yeah. Yeah, mm. yeah. I gave him a Lemurian, Syrian. <clears throat> Your ego is a tough program to get through. It is unless you go through it with love. If you let go of all the judgment and you just observe your ego in your matrix programming, it's a lot easier. You have, we, each one of us have to let go of the judgment about the whole thing. And so, yeah, blue. Todd's here. <laughs> you're turning blue. You're you're transmitting the Blu-ray. Yeah, energy. that's what I saw. Everybody. That's blue what we've last, been working with. It's all Blu-ray all year. I saw everybody blue. Yeah, it's yeah. been off the charts. It's all Blu-ray. Todd's gonna faint. Yeah, he's what? <laughs> Todd's gonna faint. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, no, that would have already yeah. happened. He, he, he's good. Mm -hmm. He's acclimating. Yeah. He, he's learning how to acclimate and integrate simultaneously while trying to function all at the same time. Mm -hmm. So, and, and hold a higher state of consciousness. And, and it, it takes a lot on our part to stabilize all these, these, these frequencies and tones and, and harmonics. Uh. And, and it takes a lot on all of our part to, to do this. It, it really takes dedication and commitment on our part. And, and so, it, it, somebody wants to talk about the 12th Amendment. We'll come back to that in just a second. Um, how did me and Todd connect? I don't remember. They can see me better when I blush. When I turn pure red, I get color. <laughs> when I laugh, yeah. If I get way up here, it actually gets worse. It Look. does. I, see it. Uh, I told you our teeth glow. We yeah. go through hell with our teeth. But. Yeah, that's been happening to me. <laughs> but you know, this is like a a, a, a testament to uh, how well, like you know, this whole you've been here three years, right? Three, four years. Five. But yeah, but I mean, this this piece of oh, this house this on portal. and off for four years, uh, yeah. a little over four years. Yeah, and, because, and every time yeah. things would get out of alignment in my reality, and I would mm -hmm. bring people around and, and support them, and, and part of my soul family, then I would have to move out. Yeah. And then when they left, I, I, I was able to come back to the house, and, and so and realign everything, because we were all fulfilling soul contracts and stuff like that, clear and karmic timelines, but from a conscious place, yeah. if you will. So it's not an unconscious thing we're doing. It's an understanding that we all agreed here to play out certain roles. 
and to fulfill certain agreements together. And, yeah. and so we do it consciously, but we also realize that that the moment that that timeline start needs to be closed out, we actually close the entire timeline out. And we all go separate ways. Yeah. And so there's a lot of in and out of each other's lives for a while because you're trying to synchronize vibrationally. This is all a synchronization, a yeah. vibrational, harmonic synchronization where, where everything converges in the same space, but it can't converge yeah. if it's not in the same vibrational and consciousness space. Yeah. So if everybody's functioning at a different, I'm going to say level of consciousness, the ringing's getting intense. Yeah. We're, we're, we're in ultra high ultrasonic frequency. So it's going to, cause it's going to be activating all the crystals inside the last two days. We've had a mega blast of two, 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 two codes, which hit the body in, in a different way. Today's all ultrasonic, all the, the heavenly frequencies, all of the angelic realm, all the really high, high, high celestial cosmic frequencies are off the charts today, which is kind of cool. Um, but you want to untether from all of the 3D stuff. You want to unanchor from everything that represents a, a, a dimension is now your level of consciousness. Yeah. A dimension is now where your body is anchored to. Yeah. We anchor up. Yeah. And you were talking about that today. You were, because I, I said to you, why, why do people always talk about grounding? The human ego yeah. wants to control. Yeah. They can't handle gravity going in their body when they're physically ascending inside of their body. And, and so a lot of people say, oh, I need to ground. I need to ground. No, you don't. You need to let go. Completely surrender. Let completely go. Go lay your body yeah. down on the bed. Go lay your body down on the grass. Go lay your body down and surrender completely. The human ego wants to control and ground, ground, ground. Oh, I feel all flighty. Oh, my head's all bobbly. Oh, gra all of the titles. I don't use human <coughs> conditions. Yeah, yeah because they lend to an unconscious misperception of what's what's really going on. So when people feel photonic light in their body and they feel like they're drugged. Yeah. When people when when people feel gravity go and they get all bobbly headed. Yeah. When, when the first thing they want to do is go find a a reason or a cause of what's wrong instead of connecting with their light body. That's your light body activating. Yeah. We don't ground. We, we anchor the energy in your body. Your job is to stabilize the frequencies. Mm -hmm. Our job is to integrate them and acclimate to a much higher vibrational frequency, which means floating a whole lot. It means expanding your consciousness so huge. Has your consciousness not been wide open since you've been in this house? Mm -hmm. Is there any ground except for earlier when it got to be so strong? You're like, I need to go move around because it became so much energy. Well, yeah, like you have to get air, you know, like I just had to move. Yeah. And there was a lot of stuff moving through me. You know, I could feel Huge. it. Moving. Yeah. And a lot bigger than, yeah. than I've experienced. Yeah. And then you talked about that when we wake up, we're still in dream state, basically what we would call dream state or when, when we first wake up in the morning, mm. you're still completing the dream space. Yeah. And so usually the first couple hours of every morning, you, you have to complete everything on a consciousness level. Your consciousness is still working. Right. And, and so a lot of times when you get up, it'll take a couple hours to, to, for everything to shift. Right. And so like in the afternoon, I, I used to be able to, because, because of where I'm at, it's not as prevalent. My whole world is, a, you're walking in a lucid dream 24 hours a day. Mm -hmm. Your whole world is heaven on earth. Every experience is amazing. The, the, you don't have, I mean, do, do things happen? Yeah, they do. You deal with them. I had something happen the other day. It's like, okay, deal with it. We're not going to play in that stuff anymore. We don't revert back to a 3D level of consciousness mm -hmm. when we deal though. And that's the thing. Right. We come from the highest state of consciousness when we deal with things. And so it's a very different place. There's no blame or anger. There's no, there's no anything. It's basically taking command of your reality as love. And holding everything to a higher state of consciousness and everybody in your reality too. 
we, we hold everybody accountable for the level of consciousness they function from. And if it's an unconscious one, then we re-educate yeah. and say, hey, and, and you know, what, what you start to find is that each one of us here agreed to do this. Each one of us agreed to be the way shower. Each one of us agreed to be the gatekeeper, the grid keeper, the anchor point. Each one of us agreed to be this here for our reality. That's how each one connects up to the grid. You're an anchor point for the grid of New Earth. And so it's really important for each person to, to embrace those higher consciousness roles instead of judging. It, it, it's, it's about everybody embracing your highest, not just higher, we're in, much, we're in highest. And, and basically seeing your much higher dimensional timelines and, and staying focused and anchoring the light codes for those realities in your physical body, because as you do, it rewrites your reality for you. It can be really, really easy. It doesn't have to be that hard. The, the hardest part of this for each person for a while is to recognize your own ego, to recognize your own programming, to recognize when, when your heart closes, when you disconnect, when you go get, I call it self-infatuation. <laughs> <laughs> Infatuated with yourself. That there's a part of this that, that's about pure self-love and, and really coming to love yourself so much that you will never ever compromise your vibration and your energy ever again. And so when you get to that place where you're no longer willing to compromise, yeah. because when you, when you compromise your vibration, your energy, your field, then you compromise your entire reality. Yeah. And, and so it's understanding we didn't come here to compromise. And this is the, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, let me just come back. I here. know. I'm watching you right now. <laughs> so He's like, if, hold on. If I'm not mistaken. <laughs> so humor keeps you here. Right? So, <laughs> so when you were talking about the Christed state, that's that blissful. Heartbeat. I am love. Da, da, da. This sounds like what you're seeing more and more about here is where people are saying, hey, I love you. But uh, like okay. you, you either uh, educate or you. Uh, boundaries. Do you notice or, the only time you ever have to say that is when you're dealing with an ego? Yeah. You know, when you're yeah. dealing with an ego, yeah. I, I would say, I love you. In the beginning for me, it was, I love you, but that's no longer a part of my reality. Yeah. yeah. And I would just let it go. And it, and if they kept insisting, then that that's duality right there. When right. you cannot bring everything into love consciousness and work it out together, there's duality playing out. So, so understanding when you're in a duality reality, it's your duality. You can always bring everything into a higher state of consciousness. And sometimes bringing it into a higher state of consciousness is saying goodbye. Yeah. It's saying, no, we're not going to play that out in our reality anymore because it doesn't serve a purpose. Right. And, and so the part of, once you come through achieving the Christed state inside of you, mm. then it's holding that yeah. in your reality and not going back and letting the old play out, which right. is what brings, starts bringing your divine masculine through. Yeah. It's, it's your, That's like your baseline now. It's where it it's starts. Like this is your baseline and now we can start to bring And I had in. no yeah. idea how much we said no. When I first went through this, it seemed like every word out of my mouth was no, 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 not acceptable. No, no, no. It's also when your Syrian aspect is going to start activating. Mm -hmm. When your Syrian aspect starts activating and you want to realize you have a bazillion different aspects. You don't just have a human and just a higher self. You've got a human that's multifaceted on an egoic level. And then you have a higher self that's multifaceted at a bazillion different vibrational frequencies too, and, and merging all of those to become one inside of you so that you can function from any and all of those with balance and recognize the distortions. This is about an, uh, seeing the distortions, the distorted everything that as it presents, which means being so conscious that when a distortion starts to play out, you have the consciousness to stop it.
Yeah. This isn't personal. Yeah. I love the let's get yes, yeah, serious. Let's get serious. <laughs> At mine in my early days when I was still going through human ego breaking, it was your universe. Are you serious? And I would spell it serious. It's like serious. Are you serious? This is this is how because because boy, mind blowing is an understatement when when you start waking up to higher consciousness. Serious. The Syrian as my I don't know a lot of my aspects, but the Syrian aspect is. I tuned into you this morning. Yeah. Your your prominence is Arcturian. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, your 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 other ones are coming forth, but we yeah. all we oh, all the right now the prominent your ones prominent too. one yeah. is well I don't know because when I Darcturian Darcturian's been real prominent since yeah. uh, August yeah you you when I tune into you <clears throat> we all have like an affiliation with mm -hmm. one that tends to be our primary except for so I use myself as an example I'm all of them yeah I had to activate all of them and, and when when you go through you go through um, soul embodiment and then you start activating the higher dimensional grids and the templates within your body. And when you start doing this, you're activating in your body and your field. Yeah. And so once we ascend through building our Merkaba, it, it will, when, when we ascend through to the fifth dimension, then it's kind of like a reset phase. And so for a while it's like, okay, now what's going, you're going to stay there for a little while because what happens is the Merkaba will actually break down the geometrics and rebuild itself yeah. into a Stargate system. <clears throat> and, and what will happen is that Stargate system is also occurring inside of your body. Every part of your body is a part of that new Stargate system. So your organs, your glands, every part of your body has to synchronize. Yeah. Oh, we are off the charts. We are wide open. <laughs> dudes. I can hear them Ooh. all. <laughs> we yeah. are like. I'm ha I'm hanging on. Here. <laughs> I've, ha I've had these experiences on, on, on the show, but uh, this one's. A feet are buzzing. This yeah. one's different. My feet, my feet were on fire a minute ago yeah. when you were talking. I'm like, what the hell is that? It's your light body. Yeah. It was like there's yeah. somebody was sticking like a hot poker. At you, you have an earth star chakra down there. Yeah. At the base of between the base of your feet, and, and when you're activating the the Gaia's consciousness with Earth, with Earth, I don't call, I call it Earth Star. I don't know what's coming out of my mouth, but this, these are my words. <laughs> but um, you have a Soul Star Chakra, yeah. if you will, and, and when they activate, see, we've got heat, and the temperatures that are changing, the heat's coming through because I just felt it earlier. I had it with my ear. I don't have it to the extreme as I did in the early years. Mm -hmm. In the early years, my whole body would heat up and I'd lose consciousness and I'd basically knock out Yeah. and stuff. Now it's just little bits and pieces. And so mine, the crown is itching. <laughs> Galactivation, Joe. Uh, I, I, <laughs> okay. I don't, I don't want to get caught back on that subject. I just want to make some. I forget I, what we're talking about. I thought so it, no, one? I thought it was very useful when you were talking about this morning and you were saying basically, well, let me rephrase it. Were you saying that you're better off waking up staying horizontal allowing it to all integrate and assimilate rather than get up too quick and 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 still be off kilter you're talking about in the morning yeah yeah well, okay so it depends on what you're referring to horizontal when your body is horizontal mm -hmm. it's moving from a linear to a quantum state of consciousness when you're horizontal when you're hor when you're laying down okay so a lot of people especially with your spine your spine is a huge part of this so every light body phase Every light body phase that you activate and every body template that you activate will go through a complete immune system rewrite and a complete nervous system rewrite. So, so your light body has a different nervous system, has a different breathing apparatus mm. and, and the air you breathe and, and how your body produces light and photosynthesis and all this kind of stuff. It's a very organic, natural. Yeah. <clears throat> hands heating up burning. <clears throat> um, yeah. But what will happen is that the higher you go as a light being, the more plasma your body holds. Yeah. So as you move through light body to crystalline light body to plasma crystalline light body, and then we move into an etheric plasma crystalline light body, and then we move into a photonic light body. And they're all different levels of light body. I'm in photonic light body phase, which is eons past avatar consciousness, which is over soul embodiment, which is in the entire monad. Mm -hmm. and, and so nobody really cares but we use it to explain a process of how how big and vast this is that's the whole reason yeah you guys are gonna crown is itchy this is all the now we're in star particle activation now are we are we all uh i mean even though we're not all physically together are we all, all within sharing this. the same vortex yeah. of energy i, I mean i, I yeah. 
Yeah. This, this is why we wanted everybody to tune in is because you're mm -hmm. in this frequency, this vibration, this, this, this field of consciousness and receiving this. And even so if those who are going to listen later, you're still going to receive, you're still yeah. going to activate, you're still going to be brought into this vortex and, and all that kind of stuff. It, it's still there. That's the beauty of, um, white coats is they're not bound by linear space or time. Yeah. Everything is vibrational. And so like you and I were talking about fast tracking and how fast we go, mm -hmm. you fast track through the embodiment of light yeah. because you bypass linear time constraints and you move through spaces of consciousness. And instead of linear, you're going up. Yeah. The higher you go vibrationally, the more expanded your consciousness, but the deeper you go on a soul level inside. Yeah. So the deeper you go inside, the more expanded your consciousness, which means when you expand your consciousness across all the dimensions, you get access to all the information yeah. and you get to see everything and you get to dictate everything from that level of consciousness that you function from. And so it's actually very easy because I'm going to say this to make a point. When we become our higher self, we become our future self, which means you have access to the future before it ever occurs. Right. So which means that you are functioning from the future in every moment because that's a linear description of time. Yeah. So in essence, you're functioning from that dimension simultaneously as those realities occur. So in this physical, you're actually doing the things that anchor them here. Yeah. I got you. So That's you're good. functioning through an expanded state of consciousness in all of those dimensions. You see everything wide open. Stargates are opening. <clears throat> Stargates <throat> are about to open. Cool. Um, <laughs> I love the Stargates, baby. Okay. So, but these, the frequencies here is like a barrage of pure diamond like codes rainbow frequencies and these carry these are like ridiculous amount of abundance frequencies so so they're all <laughs> my phone is talking to me yep bioelectric transmitters you this is this is electromagnetic frequencies this is the energy that you transmit from your heart heart consciousness cosmic heart consciousness when you hold yourself to the highest state of consciousness Oh, so Pamela says she can't see the comments. I don't know if you can help uh, her. She just, said how. Just, uh, just refresh or go. Uh, first of all, you need to be on my page. If you're watching it page. from another page, you won't be able to. No, that's not true. I'm, don't ask me anything. <laughs> just <laughs> he has zero go, linear capabilities go, right now. <laughs> go out and come back in. You're running out of memory probably. Uh, why anchor here on her you're our multi-dimensional being and you're you we all agreed to anchor the multi-dimensional realms into this physical one you are on a multi-dimensional earth now you're not on a single dimension anymore so, so pre-2012 if you will and actually 11 11 11 opened the gateways for all of this to occur but technically you're on multi-dimensional earth eventually within each person the earths will split and they will separate off into two. And when they separate off into two, you will actually leave old earth and move to new. And when you move to new earth, you won't be able to see old earth that much anymore. Only when you, you have something of a program inside of your body that you need to clear, will you even experience it in your physical reality? Or if you get up and go look out at the world, <laughs> <laughs> dragons and unicorns yes it's been strong unicorn energy this month um but why because we agreed to why because on a multi-dimensional galactic soul level this is what we agreed to do here we all agree to come here and do this that this is a part of our highest purposes and roles here now some people will say i didn't agree to this more power to you because, and the reason I say that is because the ego aspect says, I don't want this. I don't want to do any of this. And there will be this whole inner battle. And, and <laughs> I think Todd's floating off. <laughs> Todd floated off a long time. I have this in, in crazy tickle Energetically, inside Energetically, my... he is so gone, guys. 
That's, that's <laughs> he's barely it. in his body. He's got about that uh, much. <laughs> so, you know, I, I think we, you know, in a lot of the, in, in I, and I can't say I'm not part of it, but it's almost like, not, I'm not talking about what we're talking about today. I'm talking about the general circles uh, it was almost like we overcomplicate things. Dark, dark, is a program. Dark, it, the battle it, of the dark is, and the light is a is a is, a, is program? a program of yeah. a level of consciousness that still plays in duality. Right. And, and so, technically, for for a long time, we we, we will hit we will have this place. Mm -hmm. But it's really important to understand that when you elevate your consciousness beyond that, yeah. then what will happen is you will you will come to understand that the battle of the dark and light is the battle inside of each one of us. Yes. Um, it right. will span the galactic dimensions. It, it will span the heavens and, and hell dimensions and all this kind of stuff. But but the importance to understand is that you you will change your words every time you elevate your consciousness to a higher dimensional frequency and vibration and, and, and quantum state of consciousness and understanding. And so what will happen is that for me, I hit the dark and the light. I wrote an activation for everybody about the dark and light is your program inside. And then I moved right through it like really fast. Mm -hmm. And then it was, you change your vocabulary to a higher dimensional vocabulary that explains based upon your current understanding and level of consciousness. And so I went from good, bad, right, wrong right. to, um, I don't even remember because it's been so long, but, but at one point I went to higher vibration, lower vibration. Cause I, <laughs> it's not okay. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> said Southern twang. Yes. Southern <laughs> all the way, baby. I'm okay. I'm all right. But, but, and, and when we got together today, our Thanksgiving, we're having grits and eggs. We, we are having a Southern biscuit grits. And, and and I don't do eggs as a rule, but yes, we're doing, we're making exceptions today because we're going to go Southern style. There you go, man. <laughs> so that's our Thanksgiving. Grits, it's butter, and Southern eggs. Hawaiian butter. <laughs> 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 and coconuts. Yeah. So, all right. <clears throat> but it's a program. That's really It's good. a program of duality while you resolve the yeah. battle inside. Yeah. It's a returning. The dark represents everywhere that each person has it moved beyond duality into unity yeah. love consciousness within themselves yeah and so as each person lets go of all the hate the hurt the pain the blame the stories the guilt the yeah. obligation the the shaming and all this kind of stuff the yeah. judgment yeah. and actually chooses higher states of consciousness and love as the basis for their reality and yeah. where they come from then you dissolve that duality inside. And then all you have is it's love or it's not. Yeah, yeah. It's pure yeah. or it's not. It's an unconscious program. Yeah. And, and technically you basically kind of call it like it is. When you call it an unconscious program, it's not a judgment. No, no. It's just. It's, it, it's a program yeah. that's housed inside of your cellular memory yeah. of your body. And, and when you basically call it like it is you're yeah. taking away the power of getting caught up in the drama yeah. Yeah. and the story and there's a good guy and a bad guy yeah, yeah. and the a, it, yeah. and somebody's got more power yeah. over me <laughs> what is todd on this oh. chest are you okay that's that's it's a, a mudra it's a mudra <laughs> it's a mudra i'm trying to stay <laughs> anchored <laughs> i'm anchoring no, so no. This is God's gonna fly uh, away in a minute. His <laughs> little dragon, his big dragon wings. So, uh, Y'all think I, I'm not playing here? No, I mean, it's I, not. It's not. It's okay. So <laughs> I feel like I'm in a. And I have to have this to function. This I is my norm. feel like I'm. Well, I'm okay, but you know what it is. Your energy is hitting me a certain way. <laughs> Your your voice is doing a bunch of codes. Because my field transmits. Yeah. The moment, do you notice yeah. when you sat down? The moment yeah. you sat down, um, you went whoa. Yeah, yeah. But you know, and now okay, that feels good. So, so okay, look here, I've got another one. All right, so there you go. So because this is coming up a lot, right? Good. And, and there are people talking about the dark. It's a program, and and I like you what you say. It's willing not willing to let it go. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's not. A, yeah. You're not being judgmental. You know, you're just saying it's a program. And, it, and like you said, there's levels, right? So it's our choice whether we want to engage that program because these people out here are doing it or whatever, right? Like anything else. Like you said the other day, 
All right. So we are each the center of our own universe. Yes. And we right. all walking around in mm -hmm. different universes yeah. be, make up the multiverse. Right. So the, the multiverse walks around in this physical reality now. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's right. So by understanding, we make up the entire cosmos here. So, so our, our relationships are of a cosmic nature. It's not a human one anymore. Yeah. And so cosmic consciousness, cosmic states of consciousness take you to a very different place. Um, versus, you know, you, you have soul, you have universal, you have all these different aspects, you have galactic, but, but on a cosmic level this year, we entered full blown cosmic Akash clearing, yeah. which is why it's so intense for some people. Yeah, yeah. But, but now I'm going to say this, it will take you to the depth of your fears because that fear is a program held inside the human body and the human body can't vibrate at the oscillation rate into a different dimension. It's anchored in that reality. That that's why it's so important to understand the role that your body plays here. Your body needs the utmost respect. This is your light body, which is what houses your soul. Your soul says, I need to fit into your body, but it's too low of a vibration. Your soul can't fit into your body. Because yeah. it doesn't, so it's constantly rewriting yeah. the, 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 on an atomic level, on a molecular level, on a cellular level, through geometric codes, through, through quantum equations, through, through all of these different, different levels of consciousness have a different geometric code. Yeah. And so it's kind of like the best way that I can describe it in, in looking at it is it's like a snowflake or like you, you see the, I don't know, Morimoto or whatever his name was that, that oh, yeah, did yeah. the water the thing. Yeah. Do you remember how, how it changed <clears throat> based upon the vibrations? Yeah. That's what your cells are doing. <clears throat> yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. And somebody asked a second ago, <clears throat> which I've been talking to you about, are we going to lose our teeth? <laughs> Teeth are a big deal, and guys. That's where your else. deepest, deepest, yeah. deepest programs are, are held. And so, but this is about density. And so as, as your, the density in your bones and your teeth, when you start activating mm -hmm. plasma consciousness, then what happens is it works through the density. It starts breaking down the density in your teeth and your bones. Your, your bones and teeth actually expand and contract. Yeah. That your teeth will actually, and your jaw and your skull, we, we go through cranial expansion. And so like my forehead is like really tall after all these years. It's like, I looked in the mirror and went, whoa, I got like extra two inches going on. <laughs> I need bangs. Mm. But what will happen is a lot of us have seen new rows of teeth underneath. Now, has it happened? No. Are we working on it? It's all through stem cell regeneration in the body. And mm. so when your body hits a certain vibrational frequency it's it's a constant cellular breakdown and regeneration on nanosecond it's like it's that fast and so your body the more programming you hold the more emotional stuff we hold interferes with that process to be able to occur the teeth will actually go through there are crystals in our teeth you will actually they will blow but mine blew bubbles i was absorbing when i activated the godhead um, which was years after Christed consciousness and, and some of these other different phases and purity consciousness and all this stuff, then, then your teeth are moving around. They're really loose and then they'll tighten back up again. So it gets, <laughs> no, somebody's forehead got large too. I know mm. years ago I was doing an energy session, a light body energy session and the girl opened her eyes and she's like, Oh my God, Lisa, she saw my galactic me. She's like, your head is this long. Well, now it's happening. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like she's like but you're beautiful and you're blue and you got all these little tendrils coming down so no. and I, we actually turn into our other aspects i've and, seen people they yeah. i look at their face and they look you can see that they look off planet e i have an yeah. elongated head yeah and, and stuff so yeah you don't need to show me that today and uh, I, I need to assimilate the rest you, of wait till i show <laughs> you the picture of me glowing blues and purples and stuff from a few oh, years I don't ago doubt that. yeah so, okay, got it. Yep. 
forehead is growing too. Yes, you will. Uh, we are, we're taking on the galactic traits Yeah. and our bodies where it, we're, it, it's a hybrid. This is crazy, man. It, it's, it's a, it's a, we're the new species. Yeah. The new earth humans with H U as the God humans, but it's not a God from an egoic place. Okay. Uh -uh. And, and, and it's humanity through unity consciousness. We're, we're the galactic and, 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 and celestial and soul and cosmic light beings that agreed to incarnate on this earth and, and actually become the new species. And so this is an evolution through our DNA where it basically reverts us back to the original template that doesn't hold the distortions of the old anymore. We all agreed to come here. We have great things to do. We have all these amazing, amazing things to accomplish together, but everybody's got to get through their stuff for this to happen. Each person has to clear that separation. Each person has to be ready to step up. So back to the question earlier about somebody's higher self was pushing them. Yeah. Yeah. The feeling drugged is photonic light. That's your light body activating. That's your multidimensional light body. The feeling drugged has to do with gravity and how your body balances out the electromagnetics. And so the feeling drugged, what will happen is you'll wake up, you'll feel really lethargic and drugged. Your body will need to lay around a ridiculous amount. I saw a post this morning saying, no, you don't need more sleep. But so that person doesn't get this part yet, okay? Your sleep, your food, everything will be off the charts different with every phase. It won't conform. You will get younger. We will excel. If you'll notice, we, we have different phases of looking younger, um, but we will also accelerate aging right before we go through fifth dimension. That's happening right now. You're accelerating I, the aging process, I, which is the death of the ego. Okay, so I have... I'm looking at myself at somebody else. You look older. Somebody else who I won't mention their name saying the same thing to me. I'm like, I'm get, I, I look, I'm getting old. I'm I aging. I 10 years older before yeah. I ascended because yeah. you're, it's yeah. a rapid acceleration yeah. of the aging process. I figured that's what it was. So I actually wrote an article on this months ago about the rapid acceleration mm -hmm. of aging as you go to physically ascend. Yeah, I, I get that. I, I mean, I, I got that, I guess, intuitively. That's coffee and, pot. and then the other thing was the eating. Like, right, you know, the, the last couple of months, I slowed down about 10 days ago, but but I couldn't stop eating. I was eating like a vacuum cleaner, you know? I mean, Your body uses food for fuel. Now, if you have any unresolved em emotions, it can't process what it needs. And so mm -hmm. those emotions are in the way. So a lot of people are clearing all those emotions. So mm -hmm. your body becomes a pure vessel. But, but when does the body stop expanding? Once you have embodied full consciousness again, it will always expand and contract a little bit. So, so I went through years where I expanded. I got huge. OK, I expanded huge because I was birthing new realities back to back to back birthing. You're birthing with your body. Your body becomes a birthing body. And so in the beginning, I was birthing new earth. And so my pelvis expanded. My body got bigger. My lymphatic system went haywire. I blew up about bags under my eyes when I was integrating a ridiculous amount of light codes. Then what would happen was I would get bigger. And then once I had integrated the light codes, my body would contract back down. Now I started paying attention to the vibrational frequencies. And when I was more linear and more human, my body was smaller, like my old body was. But when I would go and start expanding my consciousness, my body would get bigger again. That's where you start wearing stretchies mm. and stuff. But it took years and years and years before my body started shrinking back down. And, and a couple years ago, my universe, I got to see my body and the words were, <laughs> you've been birthing galaxies. And I'm like, oh, that's why I'm so big. Cause wow. I, you become the galactic guardians. You become you, all of the realities that you are accomplishing. <clears throat> are you birthing your new, you're birthing, you're rebirthing yourself constantly and your belly would blow up. Your breathing will start being labored. Notice the words we use. You will go into labor, breathing and contractions and your body blows up and your belly blows up. And then once you go to sleep or you integrate, then your body has to integrate all those light mm -hmm. codes. And then when you wake up like the next day, it's new knowledge. Yes, Lord, I'm birthing one massive. <laughs> <laughs> 
See, and I've had a flat stomach most of my life, and my stomach's sticking out a lot. You for, you can forget the the vanity goes out. The <laughs> we yes, we do labor. You do labor. I did. I did. When I hit cosmic last March thirty first, I went through cosmic birthing. Oh my god! But that actually wasn't as rough as the early years uh, of everyone. Cosmic was was a huge one because I actually went through, and I don't do the womb stuff like a lot of the feminine stuff does. Yeah. But when I went through a cosmic womb clearing, the pain inside my womb and it was like, just lay there. And, and I went through this massive clearing and then 10 minutes later, I'm up and going and I'm good. But then you're birthing cosmically, cosmic realities. Mm. Now, the cosmic realities get into our relationships. Mm. So so each phase and every light body phase has a different purpose. So your initial light body phase is you coming to merge on a soul level. But it also means that you're going to become the universe now and you're gonna learn everything on a universal level and learn how to master the physical reality through union. But then we have to learn everything and how everything comes to be. And so there's this entire process of becoming every higher self aspect and going through every initiation and passageway, which right. takes years. It's not yeah. an overnight process. The bones, are a part of the process and and eventually they won't break they're clear in density um and, and they will expand and contract too um so so really supporting i have a plasma crystalline light body support page on my website that 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 gives like a ton of i don't have it complete because it's so much information it's already 30 something pages long but you can go there and it gives you some information and it'll give you an idea for each person, it's to tune in inside and connect with your light body and listen to what your light body tells you it needs. Everybody's light body runs on energy. That energy is photonic light. That energy is your soul. Photonic light is the light of your soul. It's also the light of your galactic aspects. And so when you are activating a ridiculous amount of photonic light, for years, it will feel heavy, foggy, groggy. You'll be walking around like you can't wake up. And, and I had to learn for years how to function foggy, groggy, and still get up and accomplish and do the ridiculous amount of work I had to do. Because when you're in that foggy, groggy, groggy state, you're anchoring the higher dimensional realms through your physical body. Mm. It's important to be foggy, groggy. It's important to let completely go. It's important to surrender completely so that your body, your light body can take over. It needs to run the show. Yes, it's going to last for the rest of our life, but each phase is different. So Charlotte mm -hmm. says it's going to last for years. It is. Each phase is different, though. OK, so the more light you hold, the more you embody here, the easier everything gets. The, the confusion is the ego. So recognizing your own ego programming means that you get to break those constructs down. That ego is your limit. That ego is the one that holds on to to the linear stuff. The ego is what keeps you bound to a matrix yeah. of the old. And everybody has to transition from the old matrix to the new, which is the crystalline matrix. And you do it with your whole body. So, yeah, I can barely wake up and often throughout the day, you yes. are going to be foggy, groggy. When you're when you're transitioning out of 3D, 4D into 5D, you're going to be foggy, groggy, and you're going to want to sleep a lot. That's, yeah, that's, that's happened to me for about three months. Three. Yep. There's a ridiculous amount of sleep because you're moving from a linear to a quantum state of consciousness mm -hmm. and you can't do it in a waking state because your human gets in the way. Yeah. And so in you know, this is the new earth people. Yes, we are. I call us new earthers. So it is the new earth people and the new earth people is, are those all of us who who function on a multidimensional level, which means that we can identify everything through vibrations and frequencies and energy and the dimension that it represents and the level of consciousness that it represents so that we can actually shift everything to a much higher dimension ourselves. And, and waking up is hard to do. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, it's waking. You sleep to wake up. 
you you let completely go yes you must sleep a ridiculous amount because that's how the veils of amnesia that's how photonic light is able to work through your physical body <laughs> they're seeing todd in the blue light around you. Oh, yeah. that's your soul body when it turns blue like that it's your star being and your soul body by the way mm. it, it's actually you it, it's it will have occurred after a huge um, physical body <laughs> detox recently <laughs> and, and stuff it's a part of our translucent phase too mm. Somebody asked a while back. Okay. <laughs> Todd. Somebody. <laughs> I'm hanging on just to whatever. <laughs> somebody asked. He's tethered by one. <laughs> somebody asked Lisa, is there a way, basically, I don't remember the words you used, but is there a way to make this go faster? Is there Surrender one completely and like go of the need to control any part of it yeah. get become come into full union inside with your higher self tune in with your light body mm -hmm. the faster is the human ego's way of not being patient with a process that needs to occur mm -hmm. so what's happening is when this is happening is your dna is rewriting itself and so what will happen is if if you're <clears throat> hold on let me back up a minute and explain a little bit easier Every time we bring in impatience, we're in our ego. Yeah. Faster, I understand. We all want it to happen faster. But what happens is, yes, we lose hair and, and, and a lot of it, and, and it's different and stuff. It's cool and white in the air, yes. Okay, faster is done through the speed of light. Faster is through the embodiment of light. The more light you embody, the faster and easier this is. So it's all... Human time equals quantum speed of light. And, and so, yeah, Kieran's going through his back and his spine today, which is your, which is crystalline plasma is where your light body activates is up your spine. Um, it's important to understand that that faster is through your level of consciousness and how much you tune in. How conscious you are dictates how fast and easy this goes. And so staying conscious, keeping your heart wide open. Don't close your heart back down. The moment you close your heart, your mind shuts down. Your higher mind consciousness shuts down and your human mind comes back online and takes back over. And that drops and takes your and vibrates your body back into the unconscious dimensions of 3D, 4D. All right. So what will happen is that if you want this to go faster, you will open your heart all the way and not fear the emotions that come up, the discomfort of anger, the discomfort of fear, the discomfort. Don't fear the fear. Don't fear breaking down. That's your ego. And we actually have to when I started understanding that for me was to embrace the entire thing and go all in. Then what happened was I, on an ego level, surrendered to my higher self from inside of me so that I could become my higher self and it could be easier. So, so in order to become your higher self, you have to surrender your ego completely. Keep your heart wide open and always come from this very pure place inside of you. Purity. Your soul is pure. The rest of it's all the ego programming. And so, you know, I saw something post this morning and it was completely twisted backwards. Good. She's dizzy. Good. <laughs> Let go. That's gravity going. Okay. Gravity will go. You would actually expand into outer space. You will actually expand into the ethers. You will, when, when you surrender and let completely go, your consciousness will expand so far that you feel like you're leaving your body and that you're actually going to leave. You will feel like you're falling. And, and so it's really learning to trust and let completely go so that you can expand really far. Now, what will happen, though, is once you've ex hit that expanded space and you've floated out in outer space, and you're floated around and inside the sun and, and in inner earth and all these different places, spaces and dimensions and all this kind of stuff. When that process 
if you can lay in that energy until it's completed, it's easier to get up and then move from that place in that space. If you cut it short, then one, you don't get to have the same experiences more than one time. Usually you might have it again for, but, but in my early days, when I started expanding multidimensionally into these different places and spaces, I didn't understand. I would say, Oh, I want that experience again. I'd never have that experience again. It was always going to be a different one. Mm. Don't short change yourself that experience because that one's very necessary for you to expand your consciousness in order to exit and transition out of 3D and 4D into 5D and way beyond 5D. This goes so far beyond 5D. 5D is the beginning. 5D is where we start. Yes, rewiring of the neural pathways, pineal gland activation. It, it, it's your bones are going to hurt. Your blood, every part of your body goes through this massive overhaul process and stuff. And so somebody says, eating a clean diet, we have to go completely clean for a while. We have to cut everything out for a while. We have to get clean water, clean everything. And then what will happen is after you get completely clean and your light body fully activates mm. and you start becoming the universe and you're doing all these things. Yes. The eyes, crystals in the eyes, um, the eyes go through a lot so that you can actually see the other dimensions. And so you'll get foggy, groggy, blurry. You'll start seeing things. You'll have light flickers. You'll, they'll itch really bad and swell up. You'll have all these things going on, which is a part of the process because your pineal gland. So like right now, we're in massive pineal gland activations, which means for those who haven't learned how to utilize their pineal gland, their vision will go so your pineal gland can come online. Mm. So your eyes don't work when your, your third eye becomes your primary eye. Mm. And then what will happen is each activation and integration process, your, your, your two eyes and your one eye, your three eyes become one eye and they work together mm. so that these eyes, I'm, I'm making this up to make a point, but I'm not really making it up because it's true, but I have to say it this way to make a point. These eyes, the crystals in them actually take the vibrational frequencies and they actually change what you see. So the crystals in your eyes give you the ability to see multifaceted, multidimensional. I'm a hologram. Yes, I am. Hologram. <laughs> we're all hologram. We're, we're, we're solid holograms, guys. Um, one, one of the things that's really under, important for every person to understand is that multidimensionality will not fit into any human reality. You actually have to open your heart completely and get completely out of your head uh -huh. to even start to encompass any part of this as reality. Your vision will change. And so like for me, for years, I wore glasses. The universe said, wear one contact, get rid of the glasses, let the other eye adapt. And so I wore one contact and one eye. And over the years, my eyes have repaired themselves to the crystals in my body. And so I technically don't need glasses or contacts anymore. Now I will put a contact in the left eye if I need to drive at night because it's still a little bit too blurry. Mm -hmm. But I learned to see the other dimensions by, by walking around without my glasses in, in blurriness. Oh. Because your linear logical mind focuses so hard, it cuts mm. out your ability to see. That makes sense. And I've so, struggled with that back and forth. I'm like, should I be wearing, to, you know? Your eyes will adapt to glasses and cut mm. out your visibility. Your your third eye tunes your eyes to see mm. multidimensionally. Does that make mm. sense? Yeah. And so oh. um, soft focus, yes. You, you actually sit and, and, and you learn to soft focus your eyes. And, and you can see all the energy around everything. You can see all the particles moving. You can see everything. Yeah. Um, and, and so, but when we're in ultra high frequencies, like right now, we just went higher. Mm. They're deafening and stuff. I'm just so used to it that, that it's not that big a deal to me. I, but right now, if I stop and actually pay attention, Right now, it feels like like it just went across the back of my head, and it could actually lift the top of my head off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, imagine what it's doing to everybody else. <laughs> See, and you said too that uh, people are going to start moving around. A lot of people move around because you're a part of the grid work. 
-hmm. And so gatekeepers and grid keepers, when it's time for you to unanchor from your old reality, you actually move around a lot. And, and so by moving around a lot, there, there's multiple reasons for that. And I explained it to my community the other day. When you're doing quantum jumping, then let's say you do a massive, you do a ridiculous amount of integrating a whole lot of light. And when you do this massive integration of light, you're quantum jumping through and across different dimensional timelines. So you can actually wake up in a different timeline. And so the more aware of this you are, so, so the, those of us who do this, and this is how we live, fully multidimensional, everything's multidimensional, our reality is multidimensional, everything, everything is. You are constantly aware that every moment is a different dimension and a different vibration and all, and you, you can tune your vibration and expand your consciousness to shift timelines really easily yourself. When, when you do a massive jump and you integrate a ridiculous amount of light, let's, let's pretend, let's take a three day weekend. Let's say you took three days and you slept for three days and you cleared, 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 and you integrated, 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 ridiculous amount of high frequency light. When you wake up, you're not in the same reality you were before. Your mind will tell you you are. Mm -hmm. So if you can maintain the consciousness of understanding that you're in a different dimension, you're in a different reality, then, then you can actually function from a very different place than you were if you think you're still in the same reality you were three days before. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Now. That resonates. If you do a massive jump. So I'm going to use one time I did a two-year jump. And the reason I knew is because in five minutes, I went outside. I sat in the rain. It's all pure photonic light. I went, Phew! and expanded really huge. And then it was like, go in and lie down, go to sleep, integrate. And, and cause that photonic light was a massive activation. Mm. And, and so I went in and went, to, the words were, you just did a two year jump, go in and go to sleep. Cause I had to integrate. I had a lot of stuff to clear. It was pure photonic lights, very heavy. So I went in and went to sleep and I woke up and it's like, get ready because you're going to be moving through a ridiculous amount of, they're going to be coming at you as fast as they can. And what happens is, is when you are holding your absolute highest vibration, you're moving through timelines and realities all simultaneously and you can see them. This is a part of your pineal gland and holographic access for you to see. So, so I'm going to share a conversation that I had with Kim. Kim, this is your, our conversation we had the other day mm -hmm. publicly for everybody. But so like I had to physically pack my bags and move to another location. And then I came back and then I moved to another location. Then I came back. What's happening is a two-year time frame just collapsed into this space. And so now you're going to move through every physical reality that you would have moved through over a two year period of time because mm. time collapsed. Therefore, the space between dimensions, the division between the separation between the dimensions, they that dissolved. So you moved, you physically moved. I physically moved from mm. location to location because you actually have to go through certain locations, connect with certain people to clear different karmic programming. Mm. So you're actually physically moving from one location to the next because all of those places you would have done over two years now just collapsed into like a matter of weeks mm -hmm. or months. Does that make sense? Yeah. I'm, so yeah. when timelines are collapsing, it is a unification and a convert convergence of everything into one space. But for the human aspect that isn't fully conscious and aware and in command and functioning at its highest vibration, it's hanging on to the old stuff, getting drugged through everything collapsing right. instead of embracing and going, oh, I've got to move through this stuff really fast. I got to move through this stuff. And you're, you're literally moving through realities at a ridiculous. I can move and manage a bazillion realities simultaneously without ever moving my body now. Yeah. I don't have to move locations unless it's aligned with, with fulfilling 
much higher purposes roles and supporting what I'm here to do for humanity. The next place I move will support that. Right. But for a while, because I was clearing a ridiculous of old timelines, I was jumping timelines. I was working in the physical to accomplish all of the awesome opportunities that were being thrown at me. Yeah. You don't even have time to breathe. Yeah. While physically moving my body through the realities to clear those physical realities and get to it'll, it'll synchronize and balance out when you come out on the other side of the vortex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See the clouds? There's our ultrasonic. That's what I was talking about earlier. You see over the mountain right there? That's what happens when we oh, go ultrasonic. We're in the heavens. Whoa. Mm -hmm. That's what happens. We're in the clouds. We're in heaven. So is that similar to what we were talking about? Like when I went to Sedona or to these different places and I had to meet certain people? You were moving through timelines. Moving through timelines. You were clearing. You physically had to go there because you couldn't accomplish that any other way. Mm -hmm. It's actually the fastest way to clear the heavy duty programming in our bodies is mm -hmm. to actually go there sometimes. Mm -hmm. Because we hold so much. Our body is a part of a gridding system. Yeah. And so because I'm going to make this up to make a point, but it's true. In one capacity, it's true, but there's always a different truth. Okay. When you physically had to go to Sedona, all that stuff you went through in Sedona yeah. was a clearing and a simultaneously an activation on a multidimensional level. Yeah. So you're clearing a ridiculous amount while activating a ridiculous amount all at the same time. Yeah. The fastest way to do that. All right, I have I have to shift here. Mm -hmm. The fastest way to clear it from your body is for your, your physical body to go there until you can do it from a level of consciousness where your body doesn't have to go there anymore. Like etherically. Yeah. So, like for me, once I hit a certain vibration, then I started clearing and doing all this on a consciousness level. I physically didn't have to go to those places. So I. Mm. At one point when I activated Syrian energies, I flew beneath the Phoenix. I didn't have to go to Egypt anymore. I activated everything, all the codes in my body, all the knowledge came forth. I didn't physically have to go there anymore. Does mm. that make sense? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Somebody asked a question a minute ago and I can't remember what it was. Let me see. Um, I can pull it up. Hold on. Let me see what the, con what it was um i can't remember bear with me guys Here we go. yes clearing very fast now it now todd's purple any, <laughs> you're going through the rainbow I, cosmic rainbow i don't know colors. if this was it any hints on releasing my uh, expectations for financial support and security okay so when we get into financial stuff that gets in a whole different topic your abundance comes through your embodiment of light Mm. Your supporting is different with each embodiment phase. And so the human body, the carbon-based physical body, how it supports itself is very different than what a quantum light body, how it supports itself. Yeah. And so you're constantly going to go through spinal stuff and your physical body will go through um, processes that every time I'm going to simplify it in the easiest way I can say this, but your universe will support you when you fully universe, fully unify with your universe. It's going to tell your human what to do. Your job is follow instructions and relinquish the ego and listen to what your universe is telling you to do because it's going to be the fastest and easiest path, but it's also going to bring up all your fear, all your hesitation, all your stories, all the victim stuff for a while until all that stuff is gone. But what will happen is support is nonlinear here. It's all quantum. So functioning from a quantum state of consciousness, support is going to be very different because it's all vibrational. It's all relative. It's a vibrational return to what we transmit out and how we contribute to humanity. So the more we step into our higher purposes roles, the more support comes forth. The more we learn to support each other and respect and love each other and share, the more support we get. 
So it has to do with how much we embody vibrationally our light. But in the beginning, because we can't stay on path in the beginning, because we don't understand in the beginning until we learn what cosmic consciousness and what universal consciousness is and how to live from a state of unity within ourself, then, then we're not given abundance, if you will, because in a way we haven't earned it. Yeah. Here, earning it is through stepping into our higher consciousness roles and, and becoming a part of a higher consciousness humanity and contributing. Yeah. You receive based upon what you contribute and how much you care, but not from. It's how dedicated you are to service as light. It's how dedicated yeah. you are to your new earth realities. It's how dedicated you are and how committed yeah. you are. If you separate out your money, and you separate out your relationships and you separate out your job and you separate, if you separate all of these things out, you have to merge all of them into one. And, and so it's a process of until I understood the purpose of these things and stop supporting unconsciousness with my energy and my things, I didn't get mm -hmm. physical world abundance because I was the one mm -hmm. who was supporting the old. Yeah. I was the one who wasted. I was the one that didn't have sacred respect. Yeah. I was the one who hadn't learned how to share and that everything was for all of us. And I had to learn all of that stuff. And you learn it when you have nothing. And so a lot of people will have to go to nothing and we will stay there for a while because it's teaching us we're establishing a new earth value system. And that new earth value system is based upon our connection with each other and how much we care and how much we step up and share and how much we contribute. We receive vibrationally on a quantum level. So this is through the embodiment of quantum consciousness. This is through the embodiment of light. And as you embrace your own light, as you hold your own light, the support you need comes forth because you are fully supported in fulfilling your highest purposes here in absolutely every way. You will always be fully supported. And that's a part of what Christed consciousness is, is to tune in to the energy and to remember. We never did lack only our human ego did yeah. all of the lack stuff is human ego programming it's a part of the old matrix program and so it's really important that you actually start to care from a place that you're actually willing to step up and contribute and share where we don't we're the ones that live in lack yeah. and so it's a vast process it's a vast subject because it's so much bigger than that but years ago, I did a thing on ascension as abundance. As you ascend, you return to purity, which brings your abundance forth because you live from a state of gratitude and appreciation and sacredness. And so when you come to embody your soul, you have a deep sacred respect for everybody and everything. Yeah. And that's where everybody has to return to your abundance and being supported comes through that embodiment. That's about the easiest way that I can say it. When you start to feel this divine energy and being supported, you are going to be moved into a position where you have to step up and be the supporter at some point. When you step into being the one then that's what calls everything forth to support you in a bigger way. So a lot of you guys that are getting messages from your higher self telling you to step up, that's because you're, the, the support you need is going to come forth um, as you step into your higher roles. Mm -hmm. And as you invest in new earth, as you invest mm -hmm. in the new realities, as you invest yourself and all that you have, then the return you receive is relative to what you put into all of this. Which is why you said it's 
So you jumped, you jumped in all the way. I went all in yeah, everything. You, I'm like universe, yeah. you bring me everything to yeah. support me and everything that I need. And I will do whatever it takes to fulfill my purposes here. And, and as I stepped into, I started understanding that I actually had to spend the money to activate those realities mm -hmm. to come forth. It's it's backwards here. Yeah, you have to you have to spend it. If that's you like a have to faithful show action that, because yeah. that vibration is transmitting out. I agree with to that. To then yeah. trigger everything to come back to you. Yeah, I've I've experienced that since I met you in yeah. May or June. When I dedicated talk, my yeah. money yeah. and my physical world abundance to all new earth, everything mm -hmm. it blew wide open. Yeah, and, and so it it was me. That was holding yes. back. It was me that was coming from a place of life. Like it you said, me. you gotta when you come, you gotta bring everything. You you have and to so go like, all in. And then like when you told me your story, which from a three D set of eyes might have looked like you know <clears throat> might have looked pretty rough. And yeah. even if if somebody looked at my but situation, but that's the point. That's what builds it, our inner. That, yeah, that's that, where that's, your that's yeah. where your deepest it's power like, comes from. Yeah, it's like that old saying: integrity is is what you do when no when no one's looking so it's like yeah. whatever i learned you, that one early on but yeah you know, when you but if you yeah. use that as an analogy for like this let's just talk about the, the energy of money and and you know because so many light keepers have struggled with that but when you when you talk to me and introduce me to that but and i want to and, stop and I you because you said it. when nobody's looking your universe is always looking well i know i'm saying i'm using that I as know, a, but I have analogy to say that, yeah, it's yeah. important to understand but yeah look because i could say to you hey i'm i'm putting i'm paying forward but I, I took it to because you told me every single tip I gave every and so that's what I started doing on my Lyft rides, Uber rides. But and, it's not from a place of lack; it's a place of love uh, and respect. Yeah, it's it's yeah, and that's it's what I mean. reciprocation. It, yeah, it's it's like a, a 3D action of faith. You use so, yeah. so so the typical human cannot understand that things represent energy. Yes. And, yes. and so when you look at that thing, it's either yeah. going to represent your lack or your abundance. Yeah. You can't hoard anything. That's like you said to me. When somebody's going to come, they bring everything. They so bring you, everything. So you can't yeah. like leave your money over here and your and, and this over here no. and that over here. You have to bring everything to the party. And all everything. of you. Yeah. All of you. You got to yeah. be all in with everything you've got too. Otherwise, you're holding back. And my saying is if you hold back, it's your lack. And if you hold back, it's very obvious mm -hmm. because you're coming from a place of lack. We step up with the information. We step up with everything. We, you, you, it's really about constantly challenging yourself to step completely up in every way. Mm -hmm. We have to be. So a lot of a lot of people don't really comprehend because when we first start waking up to new earth, it's in our dream state. Okay, yeah. we see it. It's like, oh, I had this amazing experience and your dreams become experiences. And, and, and that dream state is where you start accessing new earth at first. But then when you start to embrace that higher dimensional energy from you, from within you, and you bring it forth from within you, the new earth becomes your actual physical reality here. You're actually going to shift your vibration to a new earth vibration, which is a completely new value system. Our value system is, is through a deep sacred connection for each other. And, and the, the tricky part that you get into here is that you can also see ego programming you can also see those who are coming with an agenda. You can also see those who only show up when they want something. And we don't feed that energy. We actually shut those portals, those doors. There's, there, there's nothing available for the ego, if you will. Because the heart's closed. And it's all about me, me, me. And, and we don't feed that energy. Because that's the way of the old. Yeah. New earth is about your heart being wide open. So somebody mentioned something about homeless. Homelessness can only occur because people don't care. Homelessness can only occur because there's a system in place that keeps that in place. And so each one of us here are to create the new system that resolves those things. But it starts with each one of us so that when I connect with somebody who's home, I used to spend my days going out and sitting with the homeless. 
Okay. You, you actually have to start to care to the point they're actually willing to do something in your own reality. You don't worry about what everybody else mm -hmm. is doing. This is your reality. What are you doing in your reality? And every day our reality is dedicated to making a difference here. Mm -hmm. Every day our reality is being the difference, being that light being, being that love and respect. You use your money to make a difference. Then it serves a purpose here, but not from a place of lack. Yeah. From a place of supporting that which creates change that's highest aligned through that so, so i learned in the early days to take all of my everything and use it to support each other mm -hmm. use it to to support those that i saw that were out there busting their hump every day that nobody was recognizing i started sending money to them i'm like we're to share the abundance we're to support each other because nobody else was doing it does that make sense yes it makes sense. when we step into those roles to actually step up and, and fulfill those roles. That's how the network and the grid work of New Earth connects. Yeah. But it means every person has to take on that responsibility themselves and step into those roles and be ready. Otherwise, you're disconnected from the grid work and you don't get to be a part of it. Yeah. You get to be a part of what you vibrationally hold. So if that's how you live your life, the new earth will become your reality. New earth is, is built upon the energies of love, yeah. the energies of a deep sacred respect, the energies it's quantum. Okay. It's not linear. It's not, I did this. So I want this. There are certain things we do set up in a linear fashion because they serve a specific purpose. And those things that serve that specific purpose, they serve much higher purposes. And we set those things up that way. Everything's highest aligned. But let's say for, so the human will say, once I know what I'm going to get out of this, I'll do it. Right. That's not how this works. No. You do it. You're transmitting that vibration. Your universe is going to return vibrationally to you when that's your new way, when that's how you live your life. And when, that, when you're coming from your highest place, not your lowest place, if you do it because you want something, that's still the opposite energy of old earth, which means it's not going to bring you your highest vibrational reality. Right. So, so it, it matters where you come from. This is the most important thing. If you come from a deep sacred level of respect, integrity, honor, consideration, kindness with every breath, kindness, sharing with every breath, higher consciousness, intelligence with every breath, you can't not have this as an experience. Somebody's talking about greed. Greed is, yeah. is the old way. Yeah. And when you identify yeah. it, you say no when you shut the door. Yeah. That's just that that's the cool part about this. You can close out any timeline you desire. Yeah. The moment you recognize the program, you can close the entire timeline down. Those are karmic timelines. And I have a thing coming out. I haven't recorded it yet, but it actually talks about you hadn't even seen it. I told you about it the other day. Mm -hmm. I had a, 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 a remembrance, a, a memory of 3D Earth. And on a galactic level, all of us, how we agree to create 3D Earth as our prison. Uh, and, and it goes into the intricacies of how we all chose that to live out karmic, to mm -hmm. clear our karmic debt. Mm -hmm. and, and so it gets into 3D is a prison matrix right. that each person as you move to unity consciousness inside of yourself and you live that way, you clear the 3D matrix program inside of yourself. Yeah. It's a level of consciousness though. Cause if you keep calling the physical reality 3D, you're never going to leave 3D. If you understand you have a 5D reality, a physical reality that's, that's constructed and built on the vibrations of love, then your 5D experience is always going to be magical. It's yeah. always going to be a loving because that's where you function from. Your physical reality is a vibrational response to your current level of consciousness. 
So 5D is physical as physical. 5D, 5D 60, physical. 70, yeah. 8D, yes. Somebody, somebody asked, a couple, okay. couple of people asked. Go for it. Because you hear a lot of people say, oh, you know, and, and I'm not taking anything away from it. And they'll say, just stay in your heart. Stay in your heart. You know, lead with we your We have to go beyond just yeah. stay in our heart, though. That's the old way of just stay in your heart. Yeah. yeah. You, you have heart consciousness that yeah. then opens up higher mind consciousness. Yeah. And eventually everybody has to move into higher mind consciousness. Otherwise, you have a lot of people running around is I'll live from my heart, but I don't really care. And I'm not going to take any responsibility. Yeah. And so this, and so this, staying in your heart is the beginning. Yeah. And this may be uh, this may be correlated to that. Mm -hmm. The other end of it, the polarity. So uh, you hear stay in your heart when people can't keep their heart open. When there's still ego playing, does it make sense? Uh huh. So and, I'm just saying that as a and response. I think this might I think this is correlated to it. it. It's just the polarity. It's the other side of it. It's polarity. So and, and you hear people say this. So how do we fully go into open activate our hearts when there is so much pain, grief, trauma there and in the you know in the uh, in the world, or do we just keep surrendering to what is? All right. So pain, grief, trauma, he, oh. here's the thing. And this is what gets tricky because the human ego will judge everything that I say. Mm -hmm. So you have to move the judgment out of the way. If you really, really, really want to transcend that stuff. If you don't play in the judgment game all day long, we don't really care because there's an entirely new earth reality that's been created. And you've got all the new earthers over here living amazing realities. You want to be over here. Okay. So you have to let the judgment go. But all the pain, the trauma is a dimension. It's a karmic dimension of each person playing out karmic timelines. Yeah. All right. That's one simple explanation, but I'm going to go through several of them. The pain, the hurt and all that stuff is yours. So if you get up and go look at that out there to determine what your reality is, when you see the pain and the hurt, that's the whole point for you is to dig up. That's called lower vibrational. And it's not lower from an ego, good or bad, right or wrong, or somebody's better than anybody else. It's an actual vibration. We're talking about a vibrational frequency bandwidth. All that pain and that hurt has to come up. So you basically, embrace the pain and the hurt you bring it up inside of you once you've cleared all of the stuff inside of you you'll stop seeing all that stuff one because you're going to be so busy creating new realities that support new earth you don't have time to stay caught up in 3d earth where everybody else is playing out a karmic timeline you're creating new timelines and realities that are not bound to the 3d constructs of realities those are linear constructs held on a cellular level of each person's body our job is to get our vibrations so high that we can leave those realities by clearing those emotions those emotions are your akash so when you embrace those emotions feel the grief fully bring it up cry for a solid week consciously understanding that the cellular cleansing of all of the heavy duty stuff that's the whole point your body can't vibrate into a higher dimensional reality and experience experience a higher dimensional one because there's so much emotion anchoring it in 3d those emotions are a 3d vibration that anchors the body in that dimension does that make sense yep absolutely it does so it's a good explanation. for when you are living 5d and above and we're, uh, and we're in a 12D template, okay? When you are living 5D and above, you do not experience 3D realities in your reality, except here and there, tiny little bits when, when, when something's clearing on a collective level. You won't experience it anymore. It's gone. When I get up and go out, your hair, iolite, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so somebody mm. said, I feel the poison from our food and water. Then you have to make the determine that you're going to change that. I had to do the same thing, too. That's I had a, to spend the money on the clean mm. water. I had to change the foods I ate. 
you are the one that dictates. That's a level of consciousness. Yeah. It has to become that. In the beginning, I didn't have any money. I was living on nothing. And my universe said that I was going to buy clean water. And, and so inside, I'm having this argument going, really, that's going to cost me a lot of money. And the words were, it doesn't matter how much it costs you. It was something you had to do. Well, the thing about it is, is on a soul level, money yeah. is a human creation. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So which means the moment I said I wasn't willing to spend the money, I just placed value on my soul and said it wasn't worth it to me. Yeah. 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 So when you start to understand, you will spend the money. <laughs> now your hair is violet. <laughs> See how you're serious. <laughs> There's, they are yeah. so, everybody's so, this is so cool. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. Can you imagine if we had any sunshine today? We would not be visible. I don't know. I don't you, know. you wouldn't be visible. I probably would be. Just a little bit. Could you imagine if we had a blue screen on, but oh <laughs> you grow up glowing blue? No. You'd be invisible. <laughs> now, does, does everyone have to follow that protocol? Or what that protocol? was, well, like, like you had to buy pure water. Everything has to be your priority. That's sort of, you but have I to mean, change like, your priorities. But I mean, as far as like the direction, yes. everybody's everybody's direction could be. Okay. Well, but let me say this, Todd. And, and I'm not I'm not trying to get away from drinking. No, uh, but let me life. say this to you. Yeah. Your light body operates at a fifth dimensional frequency and above. Yeah. For your light body, your soul to function in your body, your physical body has to reach the fifth dimension. Yeah. There's no sickness. Yeah. There's no sickness. You don't get sick. That is a third and a fourth dimensional thing where your body's consciousness is to, your consciousness is asleep. Your soul is asleep. Right. I, I'm breaking this down in different ways. No, no, I got it. I got you. If you want to ascend with your body to the fifth dimension, your physical light body will become your absolute highest priority. Yeah. Well, I, and the reason I say that is because I've been feeling some things. I've been getting some messages for a while. I know and, I hated it in the beginning. And too. they're starting to get louder. And I'm like, man, uh -huh. you know. Uh -huh. And so it's kind of pissing me Wait, off. No. <laughs> <laughs> I did that too. So. I mean, I'm serious. I'm being honest about Our it. Our human doesn't like yeah. any bit of this. No, I mean, I'm okay with it. I'm accepting it. I'm, 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 I'm yeah, letting it. Yeah, but I hear your vibration right now. You, yeah. you just like... I'm just like, I, it's, it's, it's always kind of been there, but now it's it getting louder. And when I got here, it got really loud, you know, and, and I'm not going to get into specifics, but I, I'm, yeah, I'm I hearing it. And I know, I know it's pretty much, you know, it's a done deal. I mean, your I body's vibration yeah. is the absolute highest priority of all. Mm -hmm. You cannot do any of this easily if your vibration's not high enough. Yeah. Now, the thing about it is, is that how to get your physical body's vibration up is everything. It's not just this one thing or it's not that. Yeah. It, <laughs> whiskey, that helps <laughs> for a little while. Uh, uh, well, that's. That's one thing I get, I'm getting that, you know, it's got to go. It does have to go you know, for a while. Go. It'll come back in later, believe uh, it or yeah. not. Yeah. And, and, you know, and I'm, I've been healthy, but here's the thing. I had this problem with this tooth, which you told me is like where we keep a lot of the galactic stuff. But I know, I will tell you straight up, I know, and it's probably a phase, but I'm holding a lot of stuff in there. And it's when I drink whiskey or even coffee or even smoke a cigarette. I'm now, I had say, to cut coffee out but, for a little while. I yeah. had to get my body clean. And so yeah. I went into a, I went into a detox. I use Clean Smart because I can detox every day. Mm -hmm. I'm about to give you a box of it, by the way. I saw that last night. Okay. Okay. And, and so what happens is I've been on Clean Smart. Um, in the beginning, humans, ego used to tell me, oh, you can't do this and you can't do that. And you got to do this. And, and my universe is going, oh, no, 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 don't listen to all that stuff. You're going to throw all the rule books out the window. Yeah. You are going to listen. I went into distilled water for a period of time. Mm hmm but then I switched over and I actually went to Fiji water Yeah. and I have been on Fiji water. I got off of it for a little while, but my universe, Fiji was the cleanest and the highest vibration water that I could drink. And now recently I just bought a water machine to cut out the bottles. Yeah. But at the time I was like, well, what about all the bottles? What about this? And at the, at that time it didn't matter 
because at that time, my vibration was more important so that I could actually step into my roles to do these things. In the beginning, I had to cut everything else, start eating for the rainbow chakra system. I had to start getting my body really clean. I spent a year and a half of getting my body clean so my body's vibration could rise. I started sleeping with all my crystals. Yes, you cut alcohol out. You cut all, you, I cut coffee out. Mm -hmm. Now, once I got my body clean, I was able to bring those things back in because they supported my ability to function and produce. It wasn't feeding programming. Right, right. It wasn't suppression. Right, right. Anymore. And there is a point that you're live. I, yeah, I see that. Well, I can see what it's tied. It's I can see mm -hmm. the, its energy. Mm -hmm. It's even though I might say, OK, uh, this this makes me feel good or this tastes good. I can tell there's some energy that's that's physically manifesting yeah. in this tooth and my jaw. And somebody else said something about that earlier. Yeah. And and I know it. And it's the into it's the same intuition that I followed that got me on my journey and got me to Hawaii and whatever sold you, whatever, you know, so it's your universe. And because I don't want to, I didn't want to do it. I'm going to resist it. And it's just getting louder. I did so, that with detox thing. Yeah, my universe so. kept telling me for years, detox. And, and I was in really rough shape. Okay. Yeah. So when, when your body needs to hit the fifth dimension, it's got to raise its vibration to 528 Hertz. You can start listening to solfeggio tones. There were certain things that I started doing. Mm. Your physical body, the third dimension, operates in the 300 hertz range. It's a literal vibration. The fourth dimension, your physical body, is located in the 400 mm -hmm. hertz range. The fifth dimension, which is gamma, your, your gamma light body, your physical body operates at a gamma frequency, which is a brainwave state, which gives you the ability to actually walk on new earth and experience it in your waking state. Yeah. So we have to be able to achieve. Now, if you're going through alpha, beta, theta, and all these kind of things, the human aspect has to go through all those brainwave states to achieve it with their physical body. Yeah. You notice how slow I move, how methodical I move. But I, re I accomplish at a ridiculous rate. Yeah. The slower you move, the more expanded you can be. But it's an it's an inside thing. Yeah. The cleanliness is necessary. Once you hit, I'm I'm make I'm saying this to make a point, and, and you guys go figure everything out. It, it, you're gonna learn. We don't really care if people get this. We don't really care if people understand. We don't care if people want to argue. That's all ego stuff. We provide the information. We let everybody go figure it out for themselves because it's your journey. Okay. It's important to understand that when your body, when your gamma light body kicks in and takes over, you will no longer be susceptible to anything of the third and the fourth dimension. The foods won't affect your physical body anymore. You can eat anything you want to. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then what will happen is when your crystalline kicks in, that's when your body starts breaking out all over. But it's a softer frequency. That's when your body starts wanting sugar mm -hmm. and cupcakes and breads and all these things because they are those things are working with your DNA and and the abundance frequencies are actually woven through eating bread and mm. honey and peanut butter and all this other weird stuff that that humans are judging yeah yeah so in my early phases I was eating like a ridic a whole loaf of bread every two days and people go oh, you don't eat bread you have to cut this out well my abundance kicked in and it went off the charts and everybody else was living in lack sitting there criticizing what I was eating I'm like I didn't I quit worrying about everybody else yeah yeah you listen to your higher self each phase is different yeah. Human has to get their body clean yeah. for the light body to kick in and take over. Once you've dedicated yourself to this, you've started stepping into your roles and fulfilling your higher which purposes. Is, that's, which is, is an analogy, the same thing as we were talking about the, re the energy of money and your habits, Correct. your physical 3D actions with what you do with but that. But you can only yeah. go so far if your physical body hasn't yeah, achieved the yeah. frequency. So but I mean, now, it's the same. You, you can't, yeah, you can't have one without the other. That's all I'm saying. You can't, you have to, but you have to jump in all the way. But has convinced itself it's losing something. Well, it's, it's. I went through it too. It's, it's, it's surrendering. It's just pouting a little bit. That's all. <laughs> I know. I heard the pouting. <laughs> it's just. 
and this accelerated it. Visiting, Con coming to Hawaii and then visiting with you three times without anything being said, pretty much. You know, I mean, I'm just like, I know what's happening. Turned the whole world upside down. I mean, it's <laughs> like you can't you can't apply this higher communication no. to all these other departments. It's all cool, and and you don't want to do these. You can't. It's an all or nothing proposition. So. It's body clean, body yeah. clean, body just, clean, body yeah. clean, body clean. Your body's yeah. got to get really clean. You have to support your multi. You're supporting a multi dimensional body. You're supporting a light body. You're supporting your own new earth body. And so somebody says my food is expensive. Mine was too. But let me tell you something. The moment that I invested in my light body, all the money I needed came to support yeah. me. It Whoa. didn't matter how much it cost because your universe is yeah. always going to support yeah. what's important That's on true. a soul level. Yeah, that's right. It's got to be on a soul level. So, so what's happening is a harmonic realignment from a human reality to a soul aligned reality. Our old human realities were aligned on a human level. Now this is a realignment on a soul level. So your light body is going through a constant recalibration, recoding, realignment process, yeah. DNA, rewriting your entire genetic makeup. Your body needs certain things to accomplish this for you because the human ego isn't going to understand one bit of this. Mm -hmm. It's not going to make any linear logical sense that it's going to cost you a ridiculous amount of money. But this is, we all are, are met with the choice, soul or money. And if you choose money, your soul body suffers. Yeah. If you choose your soul and your soul body and your light body and your new earth realities, the money will always come. Money is one of the biggest issues yeah. of what's the word separation between the human and the soul. Yeah. And so you, we, each one of us have to resolve the money issues around all of that. So, Every bit of this is going to be your decision. Every yeah. bit of this is going to be your priorities. Every bit of this is going to be your program. And so paying attention to your programs. Okay. Yeah. Your limits, your conditions, your stories, your terror, yourself, your, all the things that you believe that are not aligned on a soul level. This is all up for each one of you to resolve within yourself. If you tune completely in, on a soul level, or if you need to learn to channel, to connect up to a higher self, to get your instructions, that higher self guidance is going to tell you what to do. Your job is to listen to it and to do what it tries to tell you because it function on, functions on a multidimensional level and it's telling you how to get to a different dimension. It's telling you how to jump timelines. It's telling you how to leave the old. You're the one that, that makes excuses. You're the ones that says no. You're the one that pouts <laughs> and does it. And I was the one too. My yeah. universe used to tell me in my early days, you have to do this, you have to do this. And I whined and I cried and I complained. And all of that is a tuning process. Well, it's a natural. I mean, it's, 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 I mean, yeah. you know, like you said, don't, we're not bad and we're not just, it's just yeah. reality. And, you know, like you were talking about the water, if you think about it, you know, if you really think about it, uh, what's the one thing that if we had to pay more for would make sense is water. I mean, it just makes sense, even though water should be free and clean and pure throughout the whole earth. But the, this is this is where we're at. Well, and this is a new value system. If you yeah. don't value your soul, yeah. if you don't value your light body, that value is returned to you. Yeah. Okay, this is you valuing this to where it's actually worth your money yeah and it it really is and so so it's an energetic it's an energetic motion towards money is energy your divinity money is a representation of a yeah. level of consciousness yeah. and that's it so it's really important to understand it, it's what you value yeah that's what this boils down to. Yep. For those of us who function on a soul level, we value each other. We, we respect each other. Mm -hmm. We show up for each other. We care about each other, but we're not there to enable each other. 
and we're not there to take up. It's different because we realize we have the capability to, to join our, our forces, to join what we have accomplished yeah. ourselves, bring it together to create and be and do more and all these amazing things. But we're not reliant on each other or depend on each other to do these things. We do them ourselves. Yeah. And so when I started understanding somebody says money is, yes, all of the stuff you have to equate it to energy. Yeah. Okay. Money becomes an energy, a representation. And so money is an energy in form. So for us, it's love energy. For the human, it's lack energy. Yeah. And, and so you really have to look at where you're coming from. When you're coming from a completely unified place inside of you, you will never lack for anything ever again. When I walked out of the third and fourth dimension, the words were, you will never lack for anything ever again, but you're going to be in service from this point forward. But your money is included in that. Money has to become love. Yep. Money is something you use to teach people, to recognize them, to acknowledge them, to reciprocate, to uplift. It's not a root chakra thing anymore. It's a heart chakra and, and a higher mind consciousness thing. You have to elevate your consciousness about everything. The physical is the solid form of your level of consciousness that you function from. Does that make sense? Yep. Absolutely it does. Because, you know, like you said, it's all or nothing. Well, a lot gonna... of people don't understand that the physical mm -hmm. reality is the material reality of the level of consciousness. Yeah. But, you know, even though we're physical, we're still energy. And like, if I think about the, the, the two years I was walking on I'm expanding on the streets when I started and coming into union. Yes. And I, inside and, of yourself and I ate a lot of McDonald's, <laughs> but I actually, I physically regenerated my body. Um, and I did, I did go through this process when I would eat the food. Now I, I'm just thinking about this and I'm being honest about it. So now I can say, I would be saying the last couple of whatever months, years, I say, oh, I can alchemize my food, so I can eat what I want. Or I can do what I want, <laughs> but it's not the same thing. That energy was real back then. Back then, that energy, my intent. But my, now, when you tune into the vibration of that food, it's different. Now. The vibration it's different. of the food. It's an excuse. It's a, it's, a ra <laughs> it's a rationalization. You know, it's like, oh, I I am supernatural. Well, I am, but in order for me to get to that point over there, I've got to do this. Because that body, like you said, the body has to. Well, the body has to get to us to that uh, uh, four hundred and body then the five hundred. Yeah. Okay. So each light body phase, food is different. So food yeah. becomes fuel. So once yeah. you hit gamma light body fifth dimensional phase, where where it's actually six dimensional. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when you get from the fifth to the six dimensional phase, where you're actually starting to step up and into your roles. Once you started laying the foundations for your new realities and getting them all aligned on a soul level, then your crystalline structure is going to kick in. Well, when your crystalline structure kicks in, you're going more quantum again and yeah. everything relaxes. Yeah. And so you're shifting vibrationally. So that light body is no longer bound to the third and the fourth dimensional rules. Yeah of what food means. So you're yeah. back to eating sugar and cupcakes and breads again, because the food then serves the purpose of the light body, yeah. not the human body. No, you're not feeding this. emotions yeah, yeah. Absolutely. and you don't hold lack. Yeah, absolutely. You're not feeding lack with food. The food is supporting what your body needs. Yeah. And, and so it's a it's, new body. It's a different body. Correct. Yeah. So, so it's important to understand that your body is going to serve a different purpose through different light body phases. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. And so once you get to a certain point, then your body's going to need those things. But the reason it needs it is different than it did in 3D and 4D. Sure. In 3D and 4D, it was all lack. Yeah. In 5D, 6D, 7D, it's no longer lack. It's about right. crystals. Right. It's about your light body. It's about fuel. It's so that you can accomplish and produce. It's so that your body 
actually can do the things it needs to do. And it, and it actually needs a lot of those components and ingredients in those foods to actually rewrite your DNA. Yeah. And so each phase, your DNA, every higher self has a different DNA. Yeah. Well, that's a ridiculous amount of DNA rewrites constantly. And so every higher self you activate, your DNA is going to rewrite itself. Well, you're moving in between different higher selves. So yeah. your DNA is constantly rewriting itself. Yeah. In one moment, you're Christed energies. In the next moment, you're God frequencies. In the next moment, you are galactic. In the next moment, and each one of those, your foods will be all over the place. Yeah. This is about emotions. Yeah. If you're carrying the denser emotions, those have to clear so that your body can become a finely tuned instrument that can process light data. Yeah. A ridiculous amount of light intelligence, your crystals, your whole body turns into a computer, a quantum computer processor. Yeah. So it's very different existence than it was before. And there's stair steps. I mean, it's not like you can. It, it's it takes like you, years, and it's, it's not, not like an you can like process. skip a step. Correct. <laughs> you know, so and, it's just, and you can say the same thing about the moving around thing. Like you're talking about, some people are starting to move around a lot. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm sure that I'm has, anchoring from all the yeah. old and jumping yeah. through different timelines. So if you look at it all yep. as, as being energy, and then you uh, bring in the physicality or whatever or the or the biology of the DNA, if you think about it, they're having, we're having, I had structural changes every time i went somewhere and clear yes. this you know what i mean so it's still energy one just happens to be ingesting something one has to be moving around you yeah. know it's, yeah yeah so well and, and once you've jumped through a ridiculous when we first go through like a, a higher okay so so moving out of old earth to new earth your embodiment of let's say for pretend sake just to make a point you're the embodiment of your one higher self so the merging of the higher self and the lower self into one body you come into union on a soul level and then you have your human and you have your higher self and and every moment is determined in which aspect you're being yeah okay that's right when, when you that's become true. your higher self and you're no longer channeling yeah then then you're moving physically through a lot of realities very fast yeah yeah i'm getting that okay yeah. And, yeah. and so but but what will happen is that once you've embodied that higher self long enough to be that higher self all the time it all levels out yeah, yeah. and then that. it's easy and flowy yeah. but until that time you're 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 moving and shifting back and forth between different aspects so you're moving in and out of different timelines yeah. really fast so somebody says chlorella yes chlorella is a big i do liquid now yeah um i did the you know there's a lot of stuff that you're going to bring in but one thing i want to say is don't judge the food Mm -hmm. Pay attention to which aspect of you is wanting that stuff. I went through a process. Once I got my body clean, I went through a process. Somebody said something about ice cream. I went through a process where it was all ice cream and pizza for a little while. But what will happen is you have, you eventually have to cut out all dairy products because they actually cloud your receptors and your antennas because you become a transmitter and a receiver so that you can actually, and it starts with your head area. And so when you're activating these antennas it is your ability to to pick up on the different tones and frequencies like the things that you're hearing yeah. and stuff and in order to to clear your head so that you can hear vibrationally all the different tones and frequencies that you need to hear those tune your light body well the more dairy products you have yeah. the more that it actually will will it creates mucus and yeah. you have to constantly get the mucus out of your body which will actually clear out human programming Mm. Every time you have mucus coming out of your body, it's taking old programs out. And that explains why sometimes I wake up and that's what's happening. You know, like you, you, you know, like the big wave comes in and your eyes and my nose and you know, that's the two, 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 two code. Yeah. It'll hit you. And then that's what it'll start doing is it clears the upper regions of the body. It hits the heart area. Mm -hmm. It hits the, um, it's all chest region and throat and, and then some head stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And so, yes, it's, it's all about higher consciousness, yeah. higher consciousness, but, but it's no, eventually what will happen is it will be the whole body. It moves through the whole body. So, so you will constantly feel like your light cells will constantly move and shake. 
Yeah. You're, you can feel the grids of new earth when they activate and start to come online when the crystalline grids, because your whole body will be shaking. But in the early days, it was shaken like an earthquake. This is a very different shaking. Yeah. And, and so each light, each light body phase tunes into Gaia's consciousness and universal consciousness differently. Yeah. You eventually, when you went through the activation of plasma energy. So when you're doing solar expansion, your body will heat up. When you're activating plasma energy, your body will freeze. So you can heat up and get really, really hot and burn and your skin will peel and you feel yeah. like you're about to die and your, your consciousness I, will expand. That and lot. that's activating all the crystals in your body when yeah. you do. But then the cooling down process is like you being a nuclear reactor. When you start to cool down, well, when you get into massive plasma energy, it's a bone chilling cold. Mm. You can't get warm. You are freezing mm -hmm. from the inside out, just like you're heating up from the inside out. Yeah, I've had that happen. So, so that's it when you're in those long. freezing frequencies. Okay, so now I'm going to bring a bunch of other stuff. <laughs> I used to mm. write this stuff for years ago, guys. Mm. It's like being in a cryo chamber. It's freezing your cells. Yeah. It's a part of the de-aging process. Mm. So the freezing has to do with the aging process with your body all of this there there's so much information the the, the solar is the one the that solar dries you is out the solar sun yeah, yeah. it's the one that heats you up mm -hmm. that your soul mm -hmm. is solar expansion whereas you get into plasma and that's galactic but not really because eventually they merge and become the same thing so you have solar plasma mm -hmm. and then you're doing solar and galactic all at the same time does that make sense yeah so, right, we're in cosmic frequencies. Where, so, like, when I hear the last two or three days, it's all been plasma energy. And, and sometimes it's solar. So, for the human, a solar flare, that's when all their anger will come up. We don't have that. Mm. We just have an expansion of consciousness. When a solar flare occurs, then we just expand. We don't have the emotion. Yeah. There's no emotions. Yeah. It's a, it's an expansion of consciousness and it's knowledge and it's information and it's get up and do this and get up and do that. And so, so been in plasma the last few days, freezing to death. Yes. You can't get warm. It's like tons of clothes and heaters. And, and at one point I got on a biomat and, and I was doing everything I could. That's plasma energy is what gets in your bones and your teeth and, and stuff. So consciousness, solar expansion though, will cause cranial expansion. So, so your jaw will get really out of alignment. Your teeth what will is get that? bigger. Solar? Solar expansion. That's what's happening to me. Solar and plasma. Mm -hmm. And somebody else was saying it earlier mm -hmm. and people were saying it in the Freezing. top there part you of go. the show. Now plasma energy wants salty foods and potato chips. <laughs> Crystalline wants cupcakes and peanut butter. <laughs> so and yes the teeth teeth were were, were for years and, and stuff so um all right guys what do we have where do we want to go next let's see well, somebody says i want to avoid people who want to pull yeah. me into emotional stuff you will find that eventually that the, you won't have any desire to keep experiencing that in your own reality yeah. and you'll actually start stopping a lot of stuff but you won't be angry and you won't be mad and you won't be lashing out. You're basically setting in the, in the beginning, you have to set boundaries. And so you're setting the boundaries for, for what um, is allowable in your reality. And, and you're basically holding the foundation for your new in place, which is a part of the new earth grid work and stuff too. But we actually have to start to choose what's acceptable and what's not what's in alignment on a soul level what's respectful what's kind what's considerate anytime you're dealing in a duality reality there's always going to be an ego matrix program going on and anytime you're in that it'll force you to have to do something you're the one that has to align the reality yourself you're the one that has to bring it into alignment you're the one that has to bring it into a higher state of consciousness and, and shift to that place of love and drop all the duality stuff and, and basically stand in your power and say no. Eventually, once you've done that long enough, you won't have to do that anymore because you've basically aligned everything yourself and you won't keep calling it forth. Um, yes, the, 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 the teeth clenching, the, the yeah, jaw, what is all that, that kind that's, of, like that's consciousness expanding consciousness. through your teeth. Okay, so how do I explain? 
your consciousness is photonic light. It activates your, the whole solar system and the cosmos is inside of your body. So when a star is imploding or exploding, when a nebula and the gas, like the gas you had, that's nebula. Yes. <laughs> okay. Your atmosphere inside your body becomes cosmic. Does that make sense? Yes. And so what will happen is that when we're going through solar plasma, it's, it's activating on a cellular level. Imagine your cell like a galaxy. Yeah. And so when we go through a massive galactic solar expansion, that galaxy starts to spin and open up and release the gases of the universe in your teeth. Mm. I'm trying to make a point here mm. in your body, which is why we get bigger. Your consciousness, consciousness is everything. Mm -hmm. It's living, breathing DNA. Mm -hmm. It's living. It's a living universe that expands and contracts. It's everything that occurs simultaneously. Your body is waking up to be brought online through full consciousness where it's, it's inner and reconnected with the entire cosmos, Gaia, everything all over again. Your body is going through a cosmic DNA rewrite. Yeah. None of it's outside. Yes, you hear roosters. There's symphonies of birds and all that kind of stuff. So there's going to be a lot of teeth stuff here guys yeah, because that's, that's where the deepest rooted look at the words rooted programs mm -hmm. are so somebody says symptoms of menopause and i don't get into medical stuff because it's all a 3d matrix program okay the reason i say that is because when you start heating up and having hot flashes the first thing our human aspect does is go run to menopause and i did it too i kept going to the doctor and they kept saying they tested me for pre-menopause and we had this conversation the other day with a group yeah you have to let go of the identities and the conditions and the titles and look at what's really going on with the body. Yeah. Your, your body heating up is a rebalancing of the hormones. Your body heating up is your consciousness taking over your body. Your consciousness is light, photonic light, and it is such a high frequency that it shuts your human body down. And, and so instead of grouping everything that we go through under a condition and trying to treat the body as something wrong, we have to shift our mentality to this is an evolution of your body's consciousness while your body is waking up. It is completely different mentality menopause, all these other things, everything that the physical, the human aspect lumps into something wrong with the body has a multidimensional answer that has nothing to do with, with what, what the 3D reality believes. And so it's really important to break away from conditions. It's really important to break away Every disease is a vibrational, it's, it's a disharmony. It's anchored emotions housed in the body. It's all the blame, the shame, the guilt that each person is hanging on to. But it's not just this human existence, it's all of your existences. That's why it feels so big. You're not just clearing the human experience. You're clearing the Lemurian, the Atlantean, all of the galactics, all of the holy, sacred ones, all of those things. Okay. So diabetes, somebody says about diabetes. And I had that for years and years and years and years too. And it was because my body couldn't process. My body was going crystalline and couldn't process my light because I had so much emotional stuff going on that mm. had to be cleared. Once I cleared all the heavy duty emotions, my diabetes went away. So, so you guys, your glands, every organ in your body, everything holds your separation. Go get my book, Navig Navigating Dimensions. I write on all of this yeah. stuff. 
it's the, your body is going multidimensional. Autism is brilliance that can't communicate with the human race. Wow. Okay. There's many other things that it is, but, but children who are autistic or those who are autistic, they communicate differently. They understand and they process everything differently. Just like those of us who do this, we process light codes. We process data and information. We don't need human words. Humans need words. Humans say words. Humans don't even listen to the words they say. They don't even know <laughs> what they're saying. Because a word is an expression of your emotions and your articulating. And we don't need those things. Those who are autistic, they communicate, they process, they, they have a different nervous system. It overstimulates. But, but it's really... You guys, the biggest thing is to really look at what the body is doing and support the body and, and to connect on a soul level instead of a human one. And, and, and what will happen is the linear human mind will keep trying to apply the old rules. Yeah. The human will try to apply the old belief systems to our new realities and you can't the multi-dimensionality does not fit into a box right in any sh way shape or form multi-dimensional bodies don't conform to the old anything anymore what what happens is that everybody has a multi-dimensional body not just those who are conscious and aware so if you are looking at a bunch of people and going, oh, they're multidimensional, I'm not, that's not true. Your multidimensional body is doing its damnedest, apologies, but I gotta use the word. You're good. To raise its vibration and clear that heavy duty stuff so it can function on a multidimensional level easily. Looking at your body as a multidimensional vessel, looking at your body as a sacred being, looking at your body, rainbow frequencies just kicked in. Cool. Looking, you'll see colors, more I colors start heard. coming out. Huh? I just heard, you I heard just, them. both yeah, ears. I saw them. Some, somebody asked, well, twice was asked, can you, the physical symptoms, can you slow them down to make, and can they, can they, Come in with the more ease and grace, I guess is what they're asking. <laughs> when you stop resisting and fighting the process and you actually embrace it, let go of the fear and the judgment and ask your body what it needs to be supported. When you actually let go of the resistance and the fear that the body holds and the judgment about the whole thing and you embrace it and get excited, in my early days, when I realized that the, the worse it was, the more awesome it was going to be once I got through it, I actually started going into it and I started clearing stuff at a ridiculous rate. Um, a lot of people have never integrated the light of their soul and their bodies go haywire because the body's going quantum. It's not linear. So it has to break down every linear construct and belief that was held in the physical body. It's not going to conform in any linear way. This is a vibrational existence. Your body is, is, is turning into a vibrational, energetic body. That's what all the emotions are. It's energy. Right. That's where all this stuff is. Which, which is, I guess that's why it's important to accept your emotions and let them. Honor them, love course. them, respect them. Yeah. But this is about really honoring and loving and respecting your body and for what it needs. Yeah. You have to identify when your body locks down yeah. and goes into resistance yeah. mode because that alone creates your suffering. Yeah. The moment your body starts having a rough time, close your eyes and go inside and breathe and become one with your body and let all the resistance go. go. Vertigo is ascension. Okay, let the word go. Vertigo is your balance going. It, it's your light body activating and it's you expanding on a consciousness level. It's not vertigo. Okay. It, that's a human. You guys got to let go of the human words 
or you're going to be spinning in a circle forever. Okay. Mm. Somebody asked, basically, how do you figure out what your role is, you know, in terms of, you know, in terms of bringing forth new earth? That you don't have one, you have a million. One, get out of the mindset that you have one. Two, open up. It's going to be something that challenges you. It's going to use all the skills you used as a human. So everything you did in your human realities up to this point are going to come into play with everything that you're going to fulfill. It's going to be something that you absolutely love that brings you the most joy. And it's not going to be anything you usually think. Now, so for some people who are already really creative and into different arts, then a lot of times it will follow the path of the, the artistic thing that you do. So for some, it might be painting. Somebody else might be music. But when it, when it came to me, mine was teaching. And I didn't see that as, as one of my things was teaching. But then the other was being an author and writing books. And then the other was speaking and doing interviews. And then the next thing was doing videos. The next thing was going to be writing light activated things. And so each aspect of you has a different role here. And so as you embody each higher different dimensional aspect, that aspect is going to have a different purpose and role. One part of me is I'm my own madman, mad, madman. My, 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 I can't even talk. <laughs> well, I'm, 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 I still did it. Okay. It's your teeth, man. <laughs> Everyone's talking about their teeth. It must be getting more and more teeth, prevalent. That's because of the amount of plasma energy that's activating this 24 hours a day. Now it's nonstop. Yeah. So the activations are off the charts. Used to be, it, only to make a point, it was those of us who were tuned into cosmic consciousness and everybody else wasn't, if you will, yeah. I'm making a point. Now, collectively, the, 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 the great awakening or the grand awakening or whatever you want to call it, it doesn't really matter. The, the, the elevation of consciousness out of the unconscious realms, leaving the realms of amnesia and yeah. becoming fully conscious again. Now it's collective and all over the earth because those vibrational frequencies and those key codes in each person's body have been turned on. Yeah. And so the, the, it, it's the beautiful part because each person is a part of the new earth grid work. It's going to be whatever brings you the most joy. It's going to bring whatever you love, but it's going to be more than that. Okay. So it's going to be really embracing anything that serves a higher purpose. So in my early phases, it was supporting other people. It wasn't fulfilling my highest anything. In the beginning, for me, I had to be willing to learn. I had to be willing to start from scratch and learn higher consciousness all over again. And in a part of me learning higher consciousness was helping other people until I was ready to step into my role. So in the beginning for a lot of people, your role is going to be to help other people. Does that make sense? Yep. Absolutely. Whereas when you get to a point, not help, I don't like the word help, assist. You're gonna be a part of the bigger picture by fulfilling supportive roles. Yeah. Until it's time for you to step into those higher dimensional roles, you'll be a support service. Then when you're ready to step into, so I was a support service for the spiritual teachers. I was a support service. I built websites for people that, that did this kind of stuff. And, and, and for years, I was a part of service to others who were in service because I wasn't able to fulfill my highest service. Does that make sense? Yes. And then once I came into a certain place within myself, it's like, you know what? Now it's time for me to step into much higher roles. Then I shifted out of being the support person into it was time for me to step up and fulfill all those things. And so it transitions all along the way. And, and in my early days, when I was coming into unity consciousness, it was learning how to coexist in unity consciousness with each person that I connected with. So that was my purpose at that time. 
at that time, you know, I had to learn unity consciousness within my relationship. So, so I actually stopped working my regular job and I started, I became the maid and I cooked and I cleaned and, and I was in service to support and be there. I could hold my vibration. I could get my stuff going while I was supporting somebody else. And this, there's a, there's a huge part of this process where each one of us learn to support each other. Yeah. And we can't skip that part. Right. And so for a lot of people, the beginning phases are learning to support others first, and then it'll be time for you to step into yeah. yours. And we can't, we, we basically all start at the bottom and work our way up in yeah. a way. Yeah. But how do you know it's going to be something that brings you joy? For me, I love writing for people, but in the beginning, I didn't want to write. In the beginning, for your ego, it's everything you don't want to do. No. Makes sense. In the beginning, it's everything that you resist. In the beginning, it's everything you fear. In the beginning, it's everything you don't want to do that brings you the most discomfort. It's going to be you challenging you to do the things that you don't, you have to break all those ego constructs down. Yeah. In the beginning, it's embracing all the things that your higher self tells you to do that you don't want to do. And you have to do all of those and you have to learn it to love it and respect it and appreciate it. And then everything will shift. So in the beginning for me, it was, I didn't want to be in the limelight. I didn't want to be seen. I was still hiding. And it's like, you have to step up. You can't hide anymore. I had to stop hiding. Yeah. You have to be willing to step into your roles. Um, in the beginning, it was taking all the knowledge that I had and start teaching and sharing it in the beginning. It was opening up my home and teaching and holding community meetings and showing up to share. And so we start simple in the beginning mm -hmm. and, and we graduate from there. Does that make sense? Yeah. First, you have to be willing. And in the beginning, we're not even willing. In the beginning, none of this stuff fits into our reality. My universe told me, you're gonna write books. I'm like, I'm not writing books. <laughs> I'm arguing like with everything I had. Guess who, guess who wrote books? <laughs> <laughs> and now I have seven or eight or nine or 10 more to do because I write and I write and I write and I write and I write because it's, it's, an, it's an expression from within you where you're sharing higher consciousness knowledge, where you're sharing love and unity consciousness with everything you do. It, I have a saying, it doesn't matter what you do, just that you do. It doesn't matter that you understand. All you have to do is care. If you truly, really care, you're going to get up and do whatever it takes. It doesn't really matter. Yeah. For me in the beginning, it was showing up to, to, to support and just be a part of community. In the beginning, it was me showing up. When I got to this island, I went and volunteered. I held little things. I would invite people to join me out on the grass, on the lawn. People were doing community events. I showed up and I supported any way that I could. I cooked, I cleaned, I prepared food. While everybody else was having a blast, I was cleaning the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And one of the dudes looked at me, he goes, you can't be doing dishes for eight hours. I said, yes, I can. My joy came from everybody else being happy. Mm -hmm. I was very happy to do the dishes that supported that event. The human ego gets caught up in all of it. And, and by me showing up and doing the little things, the bigger things came forth. We have yeah. to be willing to do the little things. Does yeah. that make sense? Oh, yeah. So it doesn't really matter. Whatever's creative, whatever you love. But the important thing is that your heart is open and you're willing to do whatever it takes. You don't have the limits. In the beginning for me, private sessions, my universe said, get up, you're gonna work 24 hours a day. And I'm like, but universe, I wanna sleep. It's three o'clock in the morning. It says it doesn't matter. Get up and go to work. I had to actually stop living according to a clock. I had to be willing to get up in the middle of the night. You're the one that has to release all the limits. I don't have those limits. So it's really important to, to really understand what your limits are and the conditions you put on things because that's your matrix reality. It's all inside of you. All right.
How about that? Does that help? Yeah, that was good. Uh, Sir Masta was talking about, uh, and people have talked about it before, the heart flutters. Uh, they feel like they're having a heart attack. It's freaky. That's your light body act. Activating your heart. It's bringing your heart online with heart consciousness. It's bringing your heart online with universal consciousness. And yes, when, when your light activated, activates, it's, it's a photonic charging of your cells. Your light body activates inside of your body. And it's a ridiculous amount of bioelectric energy. It's a ridiculous amount of electrical energy sending shockwaves through your body. It's a ridiculous ridiculous amount of plasma energy and it's hyper excited cells. So your cells will actually start shaking and moving all through your body. The electrical energy shooting through your heart will take your breath away and sometimes drop you to the ground. It's intense. Yeah. It feels some of it, some of the times it feels like a defibrillator, one of those things that hits you and shocks you in the yeah. heart. And that happened to me many, many. It's shocking your heart awake. No. We had no clue our body was asleep. Literally, all the pain centers, all the neural pathways, all the neural networks in your body, they start releasing all that stuff. That the body was so deep asleep that when your body starts waking up and light starts running through your body, it starts awakening all that suppression and oppression and all that stuff you were holding in your body. And it starts emitting, your body emits light. Your body starts clearing all of that stuff that was in your body that was anchored in your cellular body. So it's really important to understand that, that your body's waking up. Your body was asleep. Your body's got to be brought online with a fifth dimensional consciousness, which starts with Gaia's consciousness, which is why you have to get out in nature until you have completely balanced the magnetics on, of your body and your heart and your higher mind consciousness to actually connect up with the earth. Your, your head will start a pounding process and it's synchronizing with universal and Gaia consciousness. Okay. It's not migraines or your pineal gland and the neural pathways trying to open. You guys got to get away from the old mentalities here. I went through it for years and years and years. And I took all the medications to suppress and shut my body down. And I paid for it. It was intense. Okay. Your body. Um, switching your mentality of what's going on in your body from a human 3D condition no. to a multi-dimensional DNA rewrite is really important. And yeah. really tuning into your body and listening to your body. And if you, if you don't understand or you're struggling with it, then go inside and ask your body. Get really conscious, close your eyes. When you close your eyes, you bypass your linear logical mind and you take the power of your mind away. Mm. Close your eyes and go inside and connect with your whole body and ask the question, am I okay? And pay attention. Let everything go. Tune to your body, communicate with your body and ask, and you will get an answer. Yes. If you're, your human will go to fear, your human will freak out. Yeah. It's really important to understand which aspect of you you are listening to, your human or your higher self. That's the one that dictates your reality. Okay? Um, let me see here. There was something that right here. Oh, this gentleman uh, had asked several times about Shai Oleg has asked several times. He's a supporter for the community. Hey. He says, my guide showed me some time ago that I am undergoing a process where the seven chakras are made first to three and then to one, the heart. Yes. What do you think about that? To me, it sounds true and feels right, but many are talking about we're getting more chakras, 12. Oh, one. you have, I'm working on a, right now I'm doing a 22 piece chakra system and, and stuff because yes, we, we, with the Andaras and stuff. Okay, so I'm not going to go that direction right now. All right. In in the original human body, our chakras separated into seven, which represented a separate 
aspiration of consciousness. So the root chakra represents like, like the heavy duty survival manipulation, all the heavy duty egoic programs are, are emanate from the root chakra. Then you move to the sacral chakra, which is where the nurturing and the mother energies and all that kind of, and the, and the birthing energies are. You move into the um, solar plexus, which is where your, um, it, it's solar. So when, when you actually start op opening, accessing solar consciousness, you start heating up through your solar plexus and stuff, but it's actually raw energy. It's actually your divine will. It's your inner power. You move up to the heart chakra which is eventually what you want to do is move from 3D chakras to up the chakra system to, to clear each chakra. And then what, as you do, they start spinning really big. And as they do, they start releasing everything that was anchored there. And so what will happen is as each chakra goes wide open, they become multidimensional vortexes that actually you will feel them pulsating every time portals are open up inside of your body. It's really weird and cool. What will happen is as you open all of those up, there's a simultaneous experience going on within your spine, which is where your Kundalini activates up your spine and they go hand in hand. So whatever part of your body, your spirit, soul, universe, photonic light body is working through, to clear whatever's going on within you to activate whatever needs to be activated. It's going to move through your body. Well, human will go to, to entities. Okay. It's inner, it's your light body energy. You want to get away from the old mindsets that keep you in a victim mentality. Okay. Eventually what will happen is when all of those chakras have opened wide open and released all the human emotion stuff, once the spine has activated so that light can move up and down your spine, then they all merge through a column up the center of your body that everything turns into white light and they all merge into one and they become one huge vortex that expands throughout your body. You actually have a new earth chakra that's located between your solar plexus and your sacral, which is why the belly blows up and contracts so much. And that's where you start birthing photonic light and your new earth realities from. So there's a lot of stuff that goes on with the body. Yes, it's around the entire chakra system. In the beginning, it's the, the other chakras are located outside in your field. But as you expand your consciousness, they merge merge inside the body, which is a part of the physical pain because they actually, the geometrics of those chakras actually have to embed themselves in your bones, in your teeth, in your blood, in your flesh, in your organs, all of those chakras and all those symbols and all of those codes. When I was going through the, the one below the feet embedding in my body, I couldn't walk. Mm. Int Hence was an understatement. Our feet house. So, so, so the feet will be an issue for a lot of people for years. Wow. And so my, in my early days when I was completely asleep and unconscious, frequencies are so loud. I can't even hear right now. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. But just disappear again. when, when your body is activating so so what used to float around in your energy field all has to when you expand your consciousness you're bringing all of that into your body to integrate in so what what will happen is the toroid it is it will be a complete inner outer inner outer inner outer experience and what will happen is your body has to integrate the codes of all of those geometrics those quantum codes those multi-dimensional codes that float around in your field have to integrate inside of your body. So we go through an immense amount. Every moment for a gatekeeper is 24 hours integration. We have to hold everything in our body. That's how embodiment occurs. Every moment is 24 hours of integration. Integration. <clears throat> you integrate, you have to learn how to function all over again. Yes, that the high pitch is off I the know. chart. I know. I it's, got it both it's been going for hours and hours. <laughs> <laughs> one one foot. That's our friend from Sedona, Nancy. 
<laughs> one foot in 3D, one in 5D. Best Choose. advice to move forward. Choose. You keep yeah. one foot in 3D, one th foot in 5D, um, because you're straddling the fence, which means that there's something that, that you're still holding on to that, that you don't want to let go of. You actually have to choose 5D as your new reality and basically take that foot out of 3D. Three, the, being between 3D and 5D is being stuck in duality 4D. It's called purgatory. It's bardo. And, and it's actually, it's not fun. So basically it means choose, make a decision. And, and basically what will happen, you, you, your higher self, your universe will, will guide you into unanchoring the reason we don't unanchor from 3D is because we have so much fear. We have control issues where we want to control the whole process. And so it really means complete surrender to your higher self and, and letting go and trusting that everything's not only going to be okay, it's going to be better than okay. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be magical. Just embrace the fear, go all into it. And there will be certain things that your universe tells you to step completely away from and let them go. Don't even get involved in them anymore. And there will be others that you, your, your universal higher self aspect of you will tell you, you actually need to do something. Oh, to is bring, that you? Yeah. Bring that into alignment. So it's really learning to listen and it's really learning to your higher self. Okay. So here's the thing. Let me turn the volume off of my phone. Your human ego doesn't like to take instructions. It's kind of like, this is how I equate it. It's kind of like the dude aspect of us who doesn't want to ask, stop and ask for directions. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so what happens is that when you realize your ego doesn't like taking directions, it doesn't want to be told what to do. It wants to maintain control over everything. You will actually surrender to your higher self view and ask your higher self 24 hours a day, your universe, what do I do? 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 And, and you will be given directions and instructions and told what to do. And you'll have to do them no matter how weird and bizarre they are. In the beginning, it's all going to be weird and bizarre. In the beginning, it's not going to make any logical linear sense because we live in quantum realities. All right. Pain between the shoulders and the back. Yeah, that's twice. On a human level, it has to do with betrayal energies. On a higher consciousness level, it's where your wings are. You said sh shoulders in the back had to do with betrayal? Pay, pain between uh -huh. the shoulders in the back mm -hmm. on a human level is where our betrayal, yeah. when you get into to Christed energies and, and Jesus and Lucifer and God energies and you get into all of the galactic stuff, then, then you're going to, and you get into Lemuria and Atlantis. And, and on a human level, it's going to be the people in your life. Yeah. Okay. But in the center of your back, you have wings. This is the fun part. And you have different sets of wings. And so when your wings need to come out, you actually can, can close your eyes. You can have somebody help you with it, but you can actually basically energetically cut a slit down the center of your back and you can actually open it up and you can bring your wings out and, and the pain and the stuff between the center of your back will actually go. Wow. You have dragon wings. You have angel wings, you have butterfly wings, you have all different kinds of wings that will come out. My, I went through many, my first set of wings, what was um, being fairy and mermaid and all this kind of stuff. My mermaid has wings. Oh, yeah. But yeah, it's called a mare fairy. <laughs> a mare fairy. <laughs> a mare, oh, mare a mare fairy. fairy. <laughs> right on. But my first wings were, were fairy wings, but then... The back is your kundalini and it's going to, it's going to be many things. And it depends on where it's located in your back and, and where that energy needs to be moved. Do, do whatever it takes to move that energy. Um, I went through many different sets of wings. Somebody says I got five sets. Yes. And, and I've done energy sessions where I've brought people's wings out and they're beautiful. And, and, and your back pain in that area will actually go away. You can actually use those wings to come into your power. And so when I would drive the car, I would actually close my eyes and go inside and bring my wings out. And then I'd go, I flew wherever I was going. I didn't even remember getting there. It was so cool. Wow. Um, I had Archangel Michael. When I became Archangel Michael, that kind of like blew my mind Yeah. because I didn't expect it. 
and I was in a meditate. I didn't meditate. I'm masculine energy. Mm -hmm. as you see me. Yeah. When I'm doing this with you guys, I'm more of a masculine energy. But when I'm, when I'm in an in, in exchange, I'm more of a feminine energy and, and stuff. So when I'm teaching, it's more of a masculine energy because I, and, and, but okay. When, when Archangel Michael came through me from within me, took over my whole body, my wings were like 30, 40, 50, 100 feet big. And they filled this massive room and I, I had gone to support a girl. She was leading a meditation and, and you learn to start going to support other people. And I was in full blown supportive mode at the time. And so I went to, to her meditation <laughs> and I'm sitting there and I'm like, I don't meditate, but let's be, let's be kind of respectful and close my eyes. Well, I closed my eyes. And as soon as she did the meditation, I turned into Archangel Michael and went, whoa. Mm. And, and I had these wings come out of me, fill the whole room, but the power. Mm -hmm. But then Archangel Michael, the energy is protector. So then you move into all these roles where you have to clear all these discordant energy out and all these distortions and stuff. But at that point, then Archangel Michael, I learned to start using my arm as Archangel Michael's sword. And I started cutting the cords of attachment. I started cutting all the etheric cords, started cutting the cords of everything as Michael. I would bring my wings out and cut those cords. And, and so you can actually use the energies of any one of these aspects. It's yeah. really cool. Michael's really strong. Then, then, then I don't remember about a year later, I activated the Phoenix energy, which was beyond bizarre because I had fire shoot out my feet mm -hmm. and these mat, I turned it to the Phoenix and I had a, a lady in the room with me and she's going, Whoa. And she's watching the whole thing. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't just me, but at that point, then, then I grew Phoenix wings and yeah. talk about power. Yeah. You have all kinds of wings. And yeah. so, but that part of the back will actually be where they are. So you can actually just cut a slit, open them up, bring them out, expand them all the way out. You can actually expand them every time you go into doing certain things and you'll bring that energy forth within you. It's kind of really cool. Very cool. Yeah. And you said something wings. before you said. A lot. You have a unicorn horn too, by the way. So, <laughs> <laughs> I have two right up here. That's yeah. different. Those are antennas. Those are so, galactic. So you said that some of this stuff doesn't happen in order. Like no, it's nonlinear. Because I know like the first mm -hmm. thing that happened to me, of course, I didn't understand it, mm -hmm. was the Archangel Michael thing. Because it was mm -hmm. all about cutting these cords. I saw you look at me yeah, when I said that. I remember that. Mm -hmm. yeah. It happened. We all eventually will become, one of my first Archangels was Ariel. And you guys got to get rid of the battle of the dark and the light. Got to get rid of the false BS. Okay. Mm -hmm. Every bit of this has an important purpose. It's each person resolving their own separation and their own stuff. So if you're playing in the ego matrix of the false, this, it's just another ego construct. Okay. It's either pure. It's either soul aligned. It's either your highest vibrational place of love, or it's not, it can't get more simpler than that. And so you want to stop playing in all of the mudslinging. You want to stop playing in all the judgment. Yeah. You want to stop playing in all that stuff because that's going to keep you spinning in a karmic timeline that your reality is going to collapse. You want to choose to elevate your consciousness and open your heart bigger to transcend all of that stuff. Because the moment you make that choice to let all that battle go, then you get to bring love and peace and freedom and the most amazing and a magical realities through you get to experience the brilliance of new earth. Yeah. So you are the one that has to choose to do this and, and you're not going to find there are certain things that, that you will find those functioning from their highest state of consciousness won't be catering to the old stuff anymore. So, so there's a lot of, when, when you step into a way show or role, you're constantly going to be leaving everybody behind. Yeah, yeah. You're going to be leaving the old realities. You, you got to get okay with all that stuff and all the judgment of everybody else, because the judgment is the limited ego aspect that can't see the bigger picture and is still 
judging reality according to emotions, yeah. mentalities, conditions, all of the 3D matrix limits is all judgment. You can't see the bigger picture unless you let completely go and shift your consciousness to a much higher place and function from a higher place within you. Then you get to see more. But if you're judging anybody else, then you're the one that's going to stay stuck. Yeah. So judgment is one of the, you cannot go through physical body ascension. You cannot ascend your consciousness until you transcend judgment from within you. That's one of the biggest ones that there is. Right. And anytime you form an opinion about anybody else, you're in judgment yeah. and you're in your ego. And, and so there are no negative entities. I, I wanted to ask, uh, let me, let me, formulated question that covers yeah, all of that because you talk about how it's it's uh, levels of consciousness it is you know, and, okay. and when i was yeah. really unconscious i played in the entity yeah. game too and yeah. i was scared shitless yeah. and all my stuff was coming up apologies for the language guys it's <laughs> not a disrespect thing it's it's, it's to make a point yeah. go ahead talk and what and, and and so my and i just want to give more clarification because i already know the answer mm -hmm. but this this would include you know the negative thing the, the dark and light thing, uh, arc arconic, fourth dimensional, nefarious influences, implants. Correct me if I'm wrong. These are all, uh, they are, all, these are all an accepted truth at a level of consciousness that we have to break through. And they're then, a it matrix program. then it becomes a story. They're a matrix program. Right. They're all a matrix program. Yeah. Okay. Now, now, the thing about it is, it is everything is just energy. Yeah. It is the value we assign to it. So if I call it a negative energy, that's my view, which means that that's the energy I'm holding. Yeah. Okay. You take the word entities and you turn it into the word energy. As long as you're playing in an entity game, you're going to be a victim. Yeah. It is energy clearing your body that is of an unconscious program of separation. It is your separation from self as pure source light. Yeah. And, and so believe me, I went through it. All of it is how I understand all of this. I did it. And, 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 you know, because I had a guy tell me one time, oh, you're possessed by a bunch of entities. And I believed him, which meant it was my belief. But the moment he's, and I spent the next year or two trying to clear all these entities, come to find out they were all aspects of me of where I didn't love myself yet. Yes. That's all it was. Yeah. And as I softened and stopped trying to blame everybody else and escape, yeah. owning everywhere yeah. I was holding on to heavy duty hurt and blame and shame and guilt and all this stuff, as I started to love and accept me, as I started to put me first and stop playing in the old stuff, yeah. all that stuff dissipated and went away. It's all a matrix program, yeah. all of it. And, then, and at that point, it just, it becomes a story. It's, then it becomes a story. It's a story and it, it doesn't, like you said, to instruct and to learn or whatever, that's when the story is relevant, but then you move on to the- It becomes a teaching tool. Yeah. Story yeah. is something you tell yourself that you convince mm -hmm. yourself that you t try to convince every self, everybody else of too. Yeah. You know, and for us, there really are no stories. We tell a story to get a point across, but our stories are to teach. So, yeah. so basically everything, unless you're mm -hmm. using it to teach somebody, then what happens is you're caught up in the story yourself. Yeah. For those of yeah. us, if you'll notice when we're telling a story, we're teaching. Yeah. We're using the experience to teach the energy through consciousness to explain something, but we don't have anything caught up in that. Now, the beauty is that when you clear it from your Akash completely, the emotion is gone and the memory goes. So you won't have a visual. You won't remember it anymore either. Yeah. It, it all goes. And does that also translate into any type of physical manifestation on your body? All of it. Yeah. It all goes. Yeah. And so clearing your entire Akash and we, has, we have different levels of Akash. Mm -hmm. So we have the human karma that we have to clear. And then once we clear the human karma, it's like, don't create any more karma. Then you have to be really conscious of yourself that you don't do anything that creates more karma again. And then once you transcend that, yeah. you're moving into higher states of consciousness. Yeah. 
from an ascended state of consciousness. Well, then you move into the different levels of Akash. You have, you have, um, you know, the, the Atlantean, Lemurian, the, um, you have the galactic, you have inner earth, you have all these different Akashic records and you have to clear all of them. And so, so what you're doing is you are clearing the distortions between the feminine and the masculine mm -hmm. and you merge them into one energy and there's no more masculine or feminine anymore. Right. And so when you get into the divine energies, they're very sacred and pure. So the ego will walk around all day claiming all these things and it's still playing in the separation of masculine feminine. Yeah. For us, we're androgynous. Yeah. We're light. Light doesn't have a sex. Right. Okay. It might have the energy of a more masculine energy or a more feminine, a, a divine masculine energy is going to be power from love. It's going to be this pure state of love. I love you, but no, I'm not going to accept that anymore. I love you, mm -hmm. but I'm not playing in your games anymore. I love you. And it's an, I love you, but no, but it's also the one that steps up and gets it all done. Right. It's your, 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 your divine feminine is pure and it's a part of being. And as you learn to be, you can be this pure you and then get up and do things from that pure place. And that's how you do your be, do, create, which is, which is your um, Holy Trinity energy. Yeah. Okay. Makes sense. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It makes total sense. I don't want to repeat myself. So yeah. if we get into something that causes me to go there again, you'll know. Why. Well, this is good. It's a good broad, uh, a good broad oh, uh, subject matter. Yes. What do we have next? Uh, Mr. Mr. Blu-ray over well, there. Look at him. Well, <laughs> We've been working with so the Blu-rays a lot. We lately. have another question which has to do with the physical situation, but cool. but uh, I would just to encompass it with the other ones that I we skipped over. Uh, we can identify. Let me just ask you this: How how would you go about identifying what the root cause is of a physical manifestation like a you know separation yeah and could, separation and how do you how would you source. recommend to somebody who's just waking up to clear it you know how to, to in other words i've got a problem in a part of my body uh i want to clear it challenge the old mindsets yeah. let go of the old beliefs yeah. commune connect get out in nature so that your body can naturally raise its vibration back mm -hmm. easily Connect with your universe, your higher self. If if meditation is how you raise your body's vibration, then med you got to get your vibration out of the third dimensional realm. And meditation for a lot of people is how you get your body into a higher vibration. But what will happen is when people stop meditating, they'll disconnect and go back to mm -hmm. a low vibration to function. When you get up for meditation, you have to maintain that vibration and you have to be able to walk around and function in that vibration. That's the key. Which is, yeah. I had to learn that I never really meditated very well because yeah. I was more masculine energy. Yeah. So yeah. mine was driving the car. Yeah. yeah. Mine was doing the dishes. Mine was yeah. doing laundry. Mine was cleaning. Mm -hmm. As I was moving around, I was able to commune. As I was moving, it's really synchronizing inside and harmonizing inside with your, on a universal level with Gaia. Yeah. With the universe. And, and so the physical body, let go of the mindset that you're broken yeah. and something's wrong and that you need to be fixed. Let go of the mindset that you don't have the power to do anything, that somebody else has to do this for you. Because that's going to keep you in a victim mentality where you're not going to be connecting inside. Do whatever it takes. It doesn't matter how you do it. Yeah. There's a bazillion ways. Make the vibration of your body, number one. Now, the, the thing about this is, is we don't understand in the beginning laughter. It can be that simple. Maybe dancing around your house. Joy, yeah. happiness. If you're not happy, your vibration has lowered. Do whatever it takes to get your happy back and whether it means cook a meal you know in the beginning a lot of us we used each other to come around 
And, and so what will happen is if you're unable to get your vibration up, some people will come together. And when they come together, they will feel the vibrations high. Eventually, you will get to the point that your vibration is so high, you don't need to go around other people to maintain that. Yeah, yeah. But it, music, yes. Yeah. I used to turn the music on and dance around my house and clean. Yeah. I filled my house with crystals. Clean your house. Get rid of all the clutter because everything that you have lends to your level of consciousness and keeps your body. Everything you bring into your consciousness affects your vibration. Everything you watch, everything you connect to, everything you feed your consciousness into is transmitting a vibration into your body. You have to get picky yeah. of what you're going to bring into your field. All the physical things around you have to serve a vibrational purpose. Music and dancing, yes. Start listening, different tones and frequencies, whatever act. It doesn't really matter what you do. There's a million bazillion ways to get your body's vibration up. But one thing is natural support. Any vibrational and natural support will assist your body with repairing itself and returning itself to pure natural health. Health is for the human, the body has to heal. But once you have become whole inside, you have none left to heal. Mm -hmm. So, so understanding that when your body is going through conditions mm -hmm. and things like that, then you're separated off into another time, another, another yeah. something. And there's a piece of you bring those pieces back in and merge inside and allow your body to raise its vibration yeah. back. Does that make sense? Yeah. Because it's because regardless of where you might have something going on in your body, I have something else. But you're saying there's one way to cover it all, really. Well, it's and, a way. It's a way of life. Looking for the cause. Yeah. Uh, a hu the human aspect. Of, oh well, so and so did this, and this event in my life, and this. That's all story. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter. It's all gone. It doesn't even exist anymore. Right now, your body is screaming for attention and love and respect. That's what it needs from you. Yeah. Love, respect, support. If your body says, I need to sleep for a week, then, then you have to make, I, you don't know how many people tell me, oh, I can't. Okay. I guarantee you, those of us who said I'm not willing to and I can't, we got dropped to our knees until we were begging. Okay. So it's really important to understand if, you're, if your body says, I need to sleep, then you're the one that has to learn to listen to your body, respect your body, love your body. It is your vessel. It is, it is your sacred vessel, the container for your soul. And it's begging to raise its vibration. And it can't because you won't let it, you won't support it. So it really means changing your mindset completely and letting your body tell you instead of you telling your body. Now, there will come a point in the process later that you will actually work with your body and say, okay, body, get me through this. And you can actually, your light body can go forever and ever and ever and, and do a ridiculous amount of things. But right on. There, there's a bazillion ways. It's don't limit yourself to one, do them all. Yeah, it's a lifestyle. It's a, it's a complete everything. Yes. It right is. All right, where are we at? They're going to shut us down in All right. five. We did it, peeps. We did. We did. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining yeah. us today. We really appreciate it. And yeah. you guys, show, show your love, show your gratitude, show your respect, show everything. Open up. Stop hiding. Get <laughs> visible. Get <laughs> stuff out there. Start, start stepping up and into your roles. Start letting go of the all the old, identify the old programs inside of yourself and choose to let them go.